everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Legacy Gambit. Today we are back on the A to Z train and we are playing a fun modern port, modern cards, but legacy affide version of a deck but obviously and we'll get to that in a minute uh, but it's obviously not me that is here on the legacy gambit i am of course joined by my lovely co-host sarah sarah do you want to play a powerful magic deck vroom vroom <laughs> let's go quick let's... this is probably the quickest deck we've played <laughs> it's so quick folks if you didn't guess what we're playing today we are playing crash cade uh so this is a um a deck from the one of the legacy challenges that uh, went uh five and one and it's a fun one so folk if you haven't seen modern uh, it's a sort of a team of rhinos deck where you play a shardless agent or a fun uh, outburst you then cascade into crashing footballs and you make two four fours um uh, the deck if for the legacy version so the modern version is a little bit more akin to sort of a more tempo strategy you're trying to tempo out then play these four fours and win the game because in legacy we have access to a bunch of acceleration in simian spirit guide and elvish spirit guide we can actually ramp accelerate this out way easier on things like turn one turn two um to basically have two four fours that hopefully will win us the game um and then around that we have a bunch of interaction a bunch of counter spell and then the goodest hamster minsk and the boot um so yeah the deck is super sweet uh, the sideboard is also probably the cleanest sideboard I've ever seen. Five, five, five. Uh, none of, you know, five blue cards, five red cards, five green cards. Um, but I'm super excited to play this, Sarah. I think this is one of those decks that, yeah, it's very vroom vroom, but I think can interact with your opponent so you can push through uh, your combo effectively because that, well, effectively the Cascade deck is as a, as a combo deck in this instance to try and win the game. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing like putting your opponent on a two-turn clock on turn one, mm -hmm. so it, it is good. Like, you get to do something really powerful and say, if you can't deal with this, I just win. By the way, I also have eight force effects. By the way, I also have Brazen Burrow. By the way, I also have, like, Fire Ice. all of this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's a good thing. Um, yeah, yeah, like... If you've ever been just out-tempoed by the modern Rhinos deck, it's that, but times 100. Mm -hmm. um, it is a lot more all-in, though. Mm -hmm. So the decks do play quite differently, but it's trying to maximize that silly draw that the modern deck can have um in return for you know losing some of its more controlling elements exactly i think the spiciest card in this sideboard is inevitable betrayal um i am so ready to take someone's embrical and someone's grizzle brand um to the, put it into the bathroom. heck i'll even take a troll of kazakh dude um to... I'm, I'm hoping we get to take some sort of dinosaur for oh. all of the firefly fans mm. in <laughs> everywhere oh. it's gonna um, be <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. Um, the, the the newest inclusion for this deck I've seen recently is Lorien Revealed. This is, I think, Force of Will fodder, but also having a way to get your Tropical Islands and your Volcanic Islands or your Basic uh, against the f uh, opposing Blood Moon, I think is super duper sweet. But without further ado, let's get into some games um, and get this show on the road. Okay. Folks, we are playing against Albert Lindblom. Okay, folks, we're playing against Albert Lindblom. Round one. Okay, so we're playing against Spherelands. Uh, but we did win okay. the we did win the So roll. we make some rhinos on turn one, and oh. then we smile. I think, yeah, I mean, we keep this hand, right? This hand's insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a turn one, ten power on board. Yeah, yeah, let's so. go. So, okay, are we leading with Mountain? Actually, we need to get Blue Mountain. We need Blue Mountain, so we need to go get... Tropical Island? Well, let's see what Ali's doing first. Uh, we could fetch... We could fetch Basic Island if we wanted to, like, not get Wastelanded out, but if they Wasteland turn one, I think we're happy anyway. Yeah, we've got, like, two... Uh, Alright. Yeah. I think we just get Trop. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, think we get Trop. Yeah, I think... Yeah, so, uh, um... One thing I know that, um... 
so Albert Limlon, for people who don't know, is the, the lands man, uh, has been playing a variety of different lands decks. Uh, so green white with sphere resistant bane. There's a version with uh, blue with hydroblast and fluster storms. That's something to be mindful of moving forward. But we'll see what version he's playing today. Um, but yeah, we know that we are playing against a land strategy of some kind. Or he could razzle dazzle us and play something else entirely. But let's let's assume we're playing against land, and yeah. we're going to get. Trop- I mean, this is a force of world check. No yeah. matter what. So tropical so. island. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll make blue Elvish Spirit Guide Simeon Spirit Guide Play Shardus Agent And we'll yield to this until end of the turn We'll go get our Crashing Footfalls Cast this without paying its mana cost And we've made 10 power on turn t- turn 1 Everyone, we're all good Okay Let's <laughs> Let's pass the turn <laughs> Oh, are we the bad guy? Are we the bad? There we go. Mox Diamond. Okay. Um, I mean, what you do? Oh, you'd be a blast zone. Okay. Mox, expedition map. Where's your land? Maze of. Okay. Maze of if is a way to stop the beep beep. Mm-hmm. They don't. They don't die immediately. But. Okay. Oh, that's. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. All right, let's play. Well, let's play the mountain. Um, yeah, so we could prevent like expedition map next turn and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I might be quick enough. So like, it's six. So they go to fourteen. 14. Do we just suspend this, or do we just... Actually, no, we want to tap down the expedition. So, do... yeah, we need to make the decision about whether we're suspending or whether we're... Tapping something um, down. Yeah, so six. So, yeah. We could also We could tap- honestly hold to just try and tap the Maze of If as well. So we're going to do six this turn. Yeah. Um, If we tap Maze of If at any point, we're doing an extra ten. It's between tapping that or tapping Expedition Map. Um, well, and it depends what map can get that's actually like a problem for Blast us. Last zone? No, but Blast zone doesn't do it either. Because they have no, the counter. No, because it enters a charge counter. Um, they could be just trying to quick twenty twenty us, but we've got an answer to that in yeah. Fire Ice already. So I, um, I think we attack first. Let's. Let, I think they're going to maze of if anyway. Like they need yeah. another mana. Like you know, I'm hoping they. Like the other version was just to tap the maze of if. Which I, which was, which is the very. Aggressive. I don't think you want to do that unless it's like a, 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 gonna kill them. Yeah, exactly. All right, so yeah. Ali, come on. Let us, let us attack for ten. Let us attack for ten. Get six in. You go to fourteen. Let's call the whole thing off. Cause yeah, it's whether you want to upkeep tap. Map. We could up. We could upkeep tap map. Tap map. Oh, no, yeah, not... that was kind of something I was considering. Um, I'm not. I'm so... not sure what lands would be a problem for us. Out of them, oh, tabernacle. Yeah, tabernacle's the thing. Yeah, Tabby's the the other thing because we only can pay for two yeah. of them. So let's attack. I think upkeep. Okay, so that's fine. You got it. They yeah. So they're gonna get. They're gonna get Tabby. Well, in that respect, then do you want to do you want to upkeep tap the expedition map? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's do that. Oh, the old vintage thing. Okay, so let's tap down the expedition map. Uh, ice expedition map. So they they like like they don't have yeah that's fine. So I'll let them draw. We drew land. I mean, land is still not bad. If they, if they, um, like even if they draw Tabby, okay, Mox Diamond again. Ottawa, sure. Okay, so they are playing. As a saga is a little annoying, because um, uh-huh. then they can start making constructs. Piffing Needle, naming what? Yeah, I think they're just trying to dump their hand at yeah, this point. Yeah, that makes point. sense. Minsk and Boo? Okay, that makes sense. Um, okay. Well, they're just going to make a load of constructs. 
Well, that's an answer for any construct that comes in the way. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're attacking yep. for six again. Yep, and then we can hold up force of negation if they cast anything. Or brazen bore if they make a construct. Yeah, we can also pay for tabernacle stuff yeah. now, which is good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, still dealing six is, you know, like I'm still mm-hmm. fine with dealing six to you. All right, so they're dead in two turns, assuming nothing assuming nothing bad happens. Yeah, and if they do anything kind of silly, we could theoretically brazen borrow her yeah. to okay. kill them dead. So they make one, so they make a five five. Oh, that is quite big. <laughs> Look at that, that's a big construct. <laughs> Yavimaya, okay, now your maze of if taps are green. That's good. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they're just going to make a construct when we attack. Yeah. Uh, which so we and how borrow. do we want to deal with that? Um. Yeah, I think we just go to our turn. Yeah, let's go to our case. turn and see what we do. Oh, they're just dead. Because we attack, go to... Oh, no, because we have to brace them. Oh, that's annoying. Well, they're not dead dead. Yeah, I mean, they make a construct as well, right? They make a construct for one, we brace and borrow it. They maze of F1. Uh, putting them to two seems good, though, because how are they going to recover without getting in fire range? The only thing right. that is they might get shot. Well, they're going to make... They- the thing is, we brazen and borrow the construct. They go get Shadow Spear. I think they're still dead because we just f- we just fired. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, they can't recover. Okay, so um, let's let's go to attacks. Then I think we go to attacks because the brazen borrow is still here. Also, we don't have to actually fetch because our Misty Rainforest makes green facts here. My thank you, Ali, for making us a color of mana that we need. Mm-hmm. So they make the con- so th- let's see how they tap okay so they're tapping the correct way okay yep. so they make construct okay, we bounce right now uh make red make blue uh petty theft your token you go to two yep that's fine you go to two And then I think, like, honestly, I do not see a way that they get out of this. I'm we trying... probably should have suspended. Ah, uh, you're right. That's fair. That's on me. All right, so they make another one. Yeah, that's on me. My apologies. Get more. Okay. So you're getting another expedition map. Oh, is this Tabernacle? Tabernacle's con- actually no. Tabernacle doesn't do anything either. He just fire nope. them and we we'll just fire. Them. All right, so this expedition map. So they're going for it. Okay, so they're going for tab. I suspect this is Tabernacle. Yeah, another maze of this. Okay, so they are just going for the. I block one. I maze two. Okay, mm-hmm. so then just yep. They have no mana up. They have one card in hand. They have two mana up technically, but I don't nothing. Oh that's... right, yeah. Sorry, okay. I fine. forgot about you have a mana. Okay, so let's just hit. The... Yeah, we've got force of negation as well. Yeah. Oh wait, that's only on that hand. All right, let's. Uh, oh. maybe we'll want to do this on their upkeep. Actually, you want to do it on their upkeep? Yeah, because force of negation can only be pitch cast on their turn. Um, yeah, this is not turn. true. Okay. So let's I attack. think I want to stop on their upkeep. Okay, well, they, we have a stop on their upkeep. So let's, should we just attack? Should we just, just, should we just like... Uh, no, because it just loses stuff, right? Like, yeah. so just... Pass turn. Yeah. Alright, let's pass. The other line was, like, tap their construct, but... Yeah, I mean... I think this is fine. Okay. okay. So, upkeep... Fire to your face. There we go. Yep. Cool. Okay, 
Okay, so playing against lands. So <laughs> Blood Moon. <laughs> I'd like Blood Moon, please. Um, <laughs> do we want Force of Vigor or Energy Flux? I mean, this is probably more for like the. I think Force of Vigor makes a lot of sense. We probably want to call a Force of Negations, right? Like they don't yeah. feel amazing here. Um, do we want to cut anything? Uh, do you want to cut anything else? Or is Endurance like? Maybe endure it. I don't know because it does stop life from the loam. Right? Yeah. Oh, dismember. Yeah, dismember. Does Dismember's not what we're doing. Yeah. Um, Do you want... Brotherhood's end might be an interesting possible just, include. Just to deal with constructs. It kills their box diamonds, their constructs, and their spheres. Oh, that is actually very spicy. So then, um... do you want to? Do you want to stop? So we've got merit lage plan. This is our merit lage plan. Mm -hmm. Is in endure it. The thing is, you want to stop like. I think it's green white, so we yeah. d maybe one more force of all. Like you really only want to see one force. Yeah, effect. you don't. You 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 really just want to stop, like a thing they're doing. Um, yeah. Okay, let's do it like that. So let's cut our counter magic, and then we just play a bit more proactive game. Well, more proactive than we're already doing. Um. But yeah. Ali, actually, it's one o'clock. It's uh, Ali's playing lunchtime. Uh, ooh, what is this? This doesn't on the draw. Hold on, let's think about this for half a second. This doesn't do anything, right? It looks like it's one of those hands. Currently, that... no. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think we mulligan. Oh, yeah, let's yeah. let's let's let's, uh, let's execute good mulliganing. Okay. This is a bit slow. It's... Low, which worries me. I think we got a five. Yeah. Okay. Let's go five. Okay. This is this is actually pretty good. So mm -hmm. here's our two lands. Here's our spirit guide. Here's our shardless agent. Are we putting back? I think you just take blood moon, right? Like we just. Is go... it just? Is it the first five? Is it just shardless agent, blood moon, and then we just put back our interactive spells? Yeah, I think so. Which is sad, but... Like, Blood Moon's already the answer to Merit Light if we do it quick enough. Exactly. Right. All right. So um... we'll put back our two... We'll put back our two proactive spells. Uh, keep... Put these two back. Which is sad, because I quite like these, but I think mm -hmm. hopefully we'll draw them. All right, Ali. Show us your secrets. Yeah, Mox Diamond's very good. Now, is that Dark Depths? Oh, Basic Forest. Oh. Life from the loam, getting it back. Okay, that okay. makes sense. Yeah. The value. <laughs> I've heard value so has the been big caused. worry we have to have. It's 2020. Yeah. It's big lady. Uh, but I mean, specifically, like they play Dark Depths under uh, Blood Moon, Blood Moon yeah. and then they 2020 us anyway. Okay, so I think play Wooded Fertils. Yeah, yeah. And then just pass. Keep it simple. Yeah. Please play Yavamaya. Then I don't have to fetch. Well, not yet, anyway. Yeah. So we've got Dark Depths. Okay, so you you dredged low. You dredged low? Oh, you dredged low. Savannah. Okay, so you got back Savannah and Maze of If? Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, well, this is maybe where Endurance is. I mean, again, but this if this is all Ali's doing, like, sure, like... Maze of Okay, fantastic. Uh, do you want to fetch? Do we, we don't fetch end step. We can see what we draw. No. It's not like the modern thing where you have to fetch. Okay. All right. Well, now we've got... Okay, so now, okay. We, now we can either just make our 10 power thing or we play Blood Moon. So they've got Savannah and Dark Depths and two unknown cards. I kind of want to make... Ten, the, pa ten power. Yeah, the ten power, because they're not threatening merit yet, and we kind of want to play Blood Moon after Dark Depths if possible. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so fetch. We can. We, I want to keep one of these spirit guides in case we have to accelerate mana again. So I think fetch. Tr uh, oh, do you just want to fetch basics? Like we can just fetch basics. Fetch base. It does really say what we're doing, but. Well, we I can... think we can afford to, so we should. Okay, right? so let's fetch basics. Uh, so this is basic f island. Wood of Fertils yep. is basic forest. Uh, we're also respecting wasteland. Like yes, we yes, it means that 
there's a sniff of what's happening, but I think we just respect. Uh, I'm going to exile Elvish Spirit Guide because we can wind the Simi Spirit Guide for something else. Yep. So let's place a uh, Cascade. We'll yield this until then step. Get our thing. Oh, second card. Or well, third card. And then we boss. Okay. All right, Ali. We have made 10 power on turn two. We've done, we've basically done vintage things. <laughs> this is basically <laughs> like bizarre. It's like, oh, here's 10 power. Okay. Brainstorm. Okay, so they are playing. So they are playing Brainstorm, Blue Blast, Flusterstorm. Mm-hmm. It's just, uh, I think they call it Sushi Lands, which again, the lands naming conventions get very weird. Okay. They have fetches. Oh, e- oh, that's quite good. Yeah, he is, yes. he is very good. Yeah. Okay. He okay, is... at least we get to blow up there as a saga. That is very flipping. true. All right, well, let's... Okay. I mean, we lose eight power, but that's also fine. Okay. Yeah, uh, play Wooded for Hill Swing and then no, that, make that... a decision. Yeah. Let's see if they actually decide to um okay we attack for 10 yeah they're blowing up now okay that's fine you take two i think now we just blood moon well we have to go for attacks first yeah, just... yeah but that's the plan okay well now we have mm-hmm. okay i think we fetch a tiger yes get the tiger out of our deck mm-hmm uh, get the tiger out of our deck and play Blood Moon. And then we pass. Alright, well, now we can play Magic, hopefully. Alright, I'm just gonna yield until next end step. Ah! Oh, nice wasteland! Alright, loan. What do you loan back? As a saga, Savannah and Yavamaya. Okay. They still got dark. So their hand is Savannah, as a saga, Yavamaya, dark depths unknown. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I, I am feeling t- hard. Cast a Simeon Spirit Guide. Did you say big ape? Did someone say ape? I love casting ape. Up. Let me cast my up. All right. Let's tag for two. <laughs> this is like the Plan C of the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Tacking with two dudes. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll pass. I'm kind of concerned about them getting a force of vigor, but if they're just dredging loam every time, that can't happen. Yeah, yeah, they're just. Oh, there's that dark lips. There's the worry. There's the okay. big worry. We really want a blue card for our force of yeah, will at this point. Well, we have a land. Or that, because then we have pitch with Simi Spirit Guide. Oh, no, we don't, because we don't have double blue. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I mean, we still play the land. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, attack, yeah. let's attack first. Uh, attack for four. Don't play... Uh, no, we can play the ape because we can still play Minsk and Boo for our yeah. Blood Moon. Yeah, so. so let's play ape. Can I interest you an ape? And then play the land. Mm-hmm. Then we have, and then we have and Boo mana for when it comes. Yeah. I mean, this is a two to three turn clock, so, you know. All right, there's Tropical Island again. So we know their hand. They just got lands in yeah, their hands. They're just trying to get something to answer our blood moon. That's pretty... that. That's so good. <laughs> that's... that's that's so good. Ottawa right. does God's work. <laughs> Ottawa does God's work. Ottawa, you know what? Ottawa doesn't get see enough play in legacy, and it should because it's insane. All right, so they are they're basically dead in a turn and a half. Um, if they even if they force a vigorous. All right, so they are just okay. They're just playing the lands out. Okay. Yeah, this feels depressing. This, but, um... <laughs> it's all right. You you choose to play lands. You know, Ladoon exists. Okay. Uh, let's attack. So they're on two. And we say pass. Mm-hmm. 
Can't do anything. Don't mind us. We just got four mana open. No reason why do we have four mana open. Don't mind us. Okay. What have you drawn? Nope. Yay. Okay. I will message. I will message Ali later and be like, "We were your, we were your match." Uh, thank you, Ali, for being so gracious and letting us win against lads. Uh, Looks okay. like a good matchup. It's, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think that is a good matchup. All right. Folks, we're back with round two. We won the die roll again. Sarah, let's just keep winning the die roll. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Oh, oh, what is this? Yep, is, that is a no. That is an absolute no, 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 thank you. Please and thank you. Ooh. We're ah. So, this needs a mana to be perfect, but it also has a lot of interaction for what any, anything our opponent does. Yeah, and we do have eight spirit guides. Yeah. I'm... Okay, I'm w I'm willing to play. I'd put back a violent outburst. Yeah, I yeah, think. me too. Let's put back violent outburst, and then I think this this feels like very much like the modern like hands, but we'll let's see yeah. if it works. So. Yeah, I kind of worry that it won't be good enough because it's not super fast, but we'll see. Uh, Trop or Misty Rainforest? Does it matter? Misty, I think. Yeah. It's immune to wasteland, yeah, right? Yeah. And we need to hit free mana. Yeah. Okay. All right, opponent, please show us what you're doing. I don't know who this person is, so. Plat, or oh, are we being an initiative gamer? Someone's being an initiative gamer. Initiative gamer, painter, marinara and taxes. Okay, we're, we're being, a, okay. We will know in two seconds if we're playing against initiative. And if we are, mm -hmm. then we know what to do. Yeah, we are playing against initiative. Okay. So I'm going to put Archon under it. Okay. All right. I... So they're going for what? Archon? Chalice on one? Uh, we don't care. We don't actually care. No, Habibi. Well, Misty, like, Chalice on one makes sense. I can see why opponent went Chalice on one. You didn't mm -hmm. play your Archon of Miri. That's very interesting. Yeah, we probably would have forced that. I well, so, it tells me they have a turn two initiative creature, it, right? I also too, but I also wonder because we played Misty. I wonder if they think we are just like a days deck, so they are respecting days, which is a which is a like a yeah. play you can play. I I would also my if, worry is that they have Cavern of Souls. I mean, if they have Cavern of Souls, then we you know that's 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 the reason why anyone plays initiative nowadays. Okay, show us potato salad, please. Upkeep, Habib, what are you doing on upkeep? You got one mana available. You got solitude. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I don't even know who this person is. I'm tempted to be like, do you want to join my Discord? <laughs> do you want to join our initiative? Hello, come join Initiative Enjoyers Club. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, okay. I just play Wooded Foothills. Keep them in the dark. What if it was, um, ah, what if it was doesn't tell them much either. What if it was could also be like control? Um, mm -hmm. right. Keep them in the dark. Keep them in the dark until further notice. All right, let's let's pass this turn. Upkeep. All right, pardon. Up, up. All right. If they play cavern, they play cavern. I mean, it'd be annoying, but all right. Let's see what they're doing. All right, draw a card. Oh, there's a cavern of souls. <laughs> uh, part of me wanted to force the chrome marks, mm. but I was like, oh, we don't do that. We don't. Oh? This dungeon here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we can... Like... We can take the initiative off them. Yeah, like, yeah. That's going to be our plan. Yeah, yeah. Also, folks... For anyone who doesn't, who is who's watching this, um, I am a known initiative enjoyer, so... Um, we can take the initiative back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not what we want to see, but sure. I think we just go Volk. Our plan is to, like, punish them for swinging in by Volking a uh, violent outbursting on their turn, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, they're going to get the... They're going to, like... We can't block Dungeoneer because it has protection from creatures, so... Yeah, but we want them to hit us. Yeah, yeah they want us to hit us, and then we just go, sha, sha, sha. Mm -hmm. um, right. Well, let's. Um, my only concern is if they've got a very quick kill in hand, but they've only got three mana. They need like another mana. So no, they've got the land. So they've yeah. So they've got like 
dungeoneer into dungeoneer that's kind of annoying but yeah uh, no one's beating that that's the dream we still get the initiative in that case yeah exactly frame, right mm-hmm. all right you put, your things are five six all right our plans to just take the initiative problem and make a very big board mm-hmm. and just be like this is your problem now this is, you have to deal with this right now so this is an interesting match i've actually not played this much from the uh initiative play side but i do imagine that it's not the because you are board based like the initiative player you uh you have a bit more of a challenge so they're attacking i want to see what they reveal off uh what they reveal so reveal archon they probably keep that on top i keep it on top Mm-hmm. Archon is the way that you win games. I am very conscious that our life total is on the lower end, but that should be fine. Yeah, well, we're about to make eight power and then you ten kept power. It, yeah, 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 exactly. So, opponent kept their archon. So, if we know that archon is coming, we we fetch basically, like, well, we're gonna fetch in a minute. We're going to end step and we'll fetch. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, I kind of want to force archon if they shove it. Yeah. The, uh, what's this? I don't care. Yeah, I don't. Happy be. Why? Happy. Why not play? It? Your hand is. Their, their hand is garbage. Their hand is absolute garbage. Then. That's like, the point. Oh. Chalice on zero. Okay. Um. So we force pitch force. Actually, which does it matter which way we do it? Uh. Yeah. Force of negation because it doesn't cost a life, right? Yeah. So pitch this. Chat force. No happy be. No, 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 don't do that. Okay, now we fetch. Okay. Well, do you want to just fetch, like, trop and... Trop... Trop... Trop, trop? Trop tiger? Trop tiger? Yeah, so... Uh, maybe trop trop, actually. We've got... We've got... Um, we've got... Okay, so trop. Yeah, let's trop trop. We okay. don't need much red most yeah. of the time. We've got our red for violent outburst. Uh, trop trop. Uh, make green... Make red. Play violent outburst. There's our crushing footballs. And then. That's not. Also, not bad. Uh, Do you just want to. Attack, because we get because yeah, we attack. Hit them. Yeah, we attack for eight. We get our basic. I am a bit concerned that they can potentially kill us. Like that is something to be mindful of because I think even if if that if the dungeoneer hits, we are dead. So I think we may have to actually like bounce the dungeon as much as ah okay. no because that also doesn't do Ugh. well we can bounce it in the um like beginning of combat yeah 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 that's fair uh yeah so we got our basic we get basic island yeah um <laughs> then we attack we go to twelve. So you can play Island. Uh, so we want to suspend the footfalls in this yeah. case. And then do you want to just play the uh, and just play Shardless Agent, or do you just want to? Actually, no, we need to play Borrow. So no, let's... we can't play Shardless yeah, okay, Agent. So, yeah. So uh, suspend, and then we pass the turn. Oh, they can still get the initiative back. Yeah. Oh, no, that's they go fine. T- we had to. We had to take it though. Yeah, like... that's true. I'm just figuring out a way to. That, no, we don't die. So beginning of combat. Actually, I'm going to put a stop on beginning of combat for them. So. Don't you want them to declare the trigger for season dungeon oh, yes, and then true. bounce it? Or I'm not sure what's best. Like I'm not experienced in this match. Yet. Um. So yeah, how let's... does the trigger work? So. Whenever you attack, so it's an attack, so maybe we'd let them attack and before blocks we do it. Yeah, would it fizzle it if that happened? Whenever you attack against Because it's a, it's a trigger, so you can it's it 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 is a it is a triggered ability. Okay. 
So yeah. So I guess it doesn't matter. We might as well bounce him beginning of combat in that case. So go to beginning of combat. Let's bounce this. In fact, don't, 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 don't. No. Uh, I want to see if for some reason they hold the Simeon Spirit Guide back. Okay. That's a way they can go wrong. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what they do. We're ruling out for them if we... I am on hard control. Okay, they didn't make that mistake, so... Let's bounce this now. They still get the Explore Trigger. Oh, no, it's... Oh, it does fizzle. Okay, so there's no legal target. So, yeah, it, it fizzles. <laughs> so they attack. We go to five. Oof. Yeah. Yeesh. It's not great. It's not but great, but that's what it is. Uh huh. Yep, we go to five, and that's. I mean, we're both trying to do the thing. We're both trying to do our thing as quickly as possible. Okay. Uh, mountain. So your hand is just seasoned under here. Okay, sure. Cool. Suspend. The thing is, I don't think this is going to be relevant. That's the thing. Huh. Four, seven. So Archon's turning off. Um. We can only do that. one of. Yeah, we can only do one of these things. Oh no, we can't yeah. even do it because we got it. Yeah, so we can't even do that. So. Yeah. So if we if we swing with both, we die. Um. So we can't do that. If we swing with one, they just block. Well, if they block, then we can do cascade things. Well, let's attack with one then. Yeah, like swinging with one. Swing with one right now. See what they do. Like if they block, they do get to throw another dead free. But I think it's the only way we're gonna win, right? Yeah. Oh, the lang is the lang put it through. Okay. Which is fine. That means we are now we have a six six. Mhm. Mm so we'll forge the big one. We'll forge the one that's not attacking because it's in yep. damage. So now I'm kind of even like feeling um, maybe Brazen Borrower to block. Yeah. Potentially. Yeah. We'll it depends. Like it's like how many crashing footfalls have we cast? We cast one and there's one on suspense. Yeah. So there's one left in our deck. Yeah, yeah. So whatever uh, this is, I think we just let's pass because we're both. I think yeah. we're both. You know, like they get to throw, which is going to be very frustrating. But I think we just. Well, no, because we can. They play Dungeoneer now. They sh I mean, they probably should play Dungeoneer now. They mm -hmm. play Dungeoneer. We know what their hand is. Let's put it this way. So I think they go to attacks. I think we just offer the trait with the borrower. Yeah, we just eat the we eat the ape, we trade here, we keep the initiative. Yeah, I think that's a winning situation for us. Mm -hmm. They might also just not attack. Well they're just all oh, your I borrow us. Yeah, Habibi, did you not see what I played? I think they missed this. I think opponent missed this. Oh did you what the hell are you playing? Solitude? Okay. All right. right, that makes sense. All right, all right. You drew Solitude. All right, well, we go to eight. We're not dead dead. But yes, Archon is making this a little bit more tricky. All right, well, that's fair enough. Okay. We can still trample through. Oh, we've got 10 damage. Hold on, I think we can win this. Yeah, we could violent outburst to get extra trample damage. Yeah, because we've got that means twelve. They're gonna gain three though, aren't they? Yeah. Well, let's, let's see if we can make it. And block four. What do we? What's what's a good draw? Like fire ice. Fire ice is an incredible draw right now. We can only cast one spell a turn, right? Yeah. All right. Is this not coming off suspend yet? Or is it coming off suspend? No, we've still got white. What does that do? Nothing. So if we attack, 
because we get the trap we get trap regardless actually don't th think about this even if they oh, gain right i didn't think of yeah trap. so let's let's attack so they yeah if they... we swing with both we violent outburst they need another solitude to not be dead yeah so so we attack let them block yeah i think they're gonna double block here so six. Yep. Hold on. Can we actually do this without violent outburst? Eleven, six. We don't actually need to even need violent outburst. Are you counting in the gain three? Yeah, because they, they go to so, so they go to a they go to eleven. Six six is five. They trap for five. They lose five. I mean, we can do it to be to be doubly safe. Yeah, I kind of want to just double okay, that's safe. Fine, I but... believe you. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, assign blocks. I need to hold. Um, Don't need to hold on a phone. Okay, and then we'll violent outburst just to be doubly sure. Uh, yield. Um, nope. You just don't. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yep. And then take the initiative, get the initiative back, trap them for five. Phew! Okay, we did have to violate that, but you are correct. I was... Oh, okay. okay. Okay, we can do this. All right, initiative. All right. What am I bringing? Uh, what am I bringing? Uh, what would I bring in if I was the opponent? What would you bring in now? So, we want Fury. Oh, I love Fury. Is this, ta is this, is this where this comes in, or...? Um, <laughs> that. I don't, I'm no, not I, sure about that. No, I think that. this is a bit cute, but I think Fury definitely comes in. Uh, we I kind of want to trim some number of forces, right? Wills or wills or negations? Negations, I think. So, yeah, I think negation. Uh, will is, I mean, yeah, like hitting a chrome. I mean, yeah, I think force negation makes sense. Um, fire ice is okay it's not amazing it can just let us steal the initiative that's though, for sure yeah you're just like, like block super relevant yeah i think that's it we're just cutting two forces for do you want endurance is it yeah that's what i'm thinking like, is like endurance a free fall? A thing? it also blocks archon incredibly well yeah that's what i'm thinking we could cut like the last force of negation and then play two endurance main and that's all that's the configuration we have this member for initiative creature um mm -hmm. yeah i like that i think brotherhood's end doesn't do enough uh blood moon doesn't do really do it. it does something occasionally but not massively uh force of vigor is like okay if they're going for like a soul land like they're yeah. going for like a mox mox hand uh, plan oh, is actually... to just try and make the initiative bad for them oh right? chalice on zero is where i'm thinking Oh right. Chalice on Zero um, is actually a genuine concern. So Force of Vigor or Brotherhood's End is is a is a thing to think about. Maybe we bring in Force of Vigors then. Uh maybe trim you know, trim like a Lorien reveal or something? We need to make sure we're hitting arms though. They might Magus of the Moonus as well. That's that's why we have the fire ice thing as well. Mm -hmm. Um Is it just Minskimbo? It might just be Min uh, yeah, Minskimbo just is like it's so good, but it's it might just be too slow. It doesn't always guarantee like stealing no, the initiative that's true. back in the way that a rhino does. Yeah, let's do it like this. I think that's fine. Alright, let's push this back. Because also Force of Vigor can get us out of a... If they if they are going for, like, chat... If they go for, like, a hand of, like, crawl marks, crawl marks... Uh, ugh. Mm, mm, this hand is... Oh, this hand is God. bad. It, no, okay, this hand's not bad. <laughs> this hand is very, very, like... I force your thing, kill your thing, but then I also do nothing. Yeah, like, it's about whether we think we're drawing out of that... Because it technically has everything we need, we just need to draw lands. Yeah, we just need lands. But we need two, which is the problem. I think we go to six on this, but mm. if this was already a six, I might keep it. You want to go to six? Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go to six. Okay, so the six is a is a little better. It's not amazing, but... Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, we'll just put the crashing footfalls back on yeah. bottom. Keep. Put this rhino back. 
And opponent, pass, we pass to you. Okay, let's see what opponent does. I'm worried that we're going to have to force of will something and then kind of be doing nothing. Well, we shall see. Okay, let me spell. Yeah. So you kept seven. So is Charles on Fable the Mirror? Sure. That's... Yeah, we've got Force of Vigor to answer that, yeah, so I'm fine. fine with that. Yeah, yeah. That's all you... Oh, okay. This tells me... Uh, I, I, have a, I, have a, I have a suspicious hunch that they have... They need mana... So they kept a mm -hmm. hand of like ancient tomb lotus petal to make sure they get treasure so they can cast the creatures in their hand. That's the that's the yeah. this is why you play this um, because you don't have mana or your mana is like you're wanting to hit a four drop on turn two, so you may have like mm -hmm. things like that. Just yeah, I mean theoretically we could force a vigor their treasure away yeah, along yeah. with the fable, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh my god, we don't just mean that. All right. Uh, Just play one of the fetches. Yeah, pass turn. All right, this is... All right, la uh, like, deck, we don't need any more lands. Please and thank you. <laughs> okay, well, we still have... Yeah. Thing. All right, let's see what they... Let's see what they rummage. Uh, I have got all the, the triggers on it, actually. Yep. Uh, what are you discarding? Full Feralingus Simeon Spirit Guide. Okay, so they did have mana. Okay, all right, interesting. Interesting you not just... stable mana though. Not, no, it is not stable. That's what I mean. I think that's why they need this. Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. I, st I don't They're think not slamming an initiative for it, I don't think we move. No, I don't think we move either. I'm just scared of cavern, but I think we've Yeah, but like Sure. We kind of have to accept it. Yeah. They're moving. Okay. Okay, this is... Okay, so your hand is very unstable. Your hand... Your hand is... Okay, so you play planes. Okay, so you now... Oh, okay. What do you want to do? Uh, don't. Because we can force a Vega next time. Yep. Which we kind of wanted to do anyway. Well, no, because it's if it's not my turn, we can exile the green card. So you just yeah, but we do it on their upkeep, right? Yeah. Like we want to be drawing more cards before doing it because it yeah. doesn't affect us yet. No. Oh my god, deck. All right, we get it. Uh, uh, of a fetch land. Yep. We're yeah. gonna have to pitch the shardless agent to force a bigger them, unfortunately. Yeah. It is annoying, but okay. All right. On upkeep. Um, yeah. We want to force a figure get rid of Chalice and one of the fables. The fable that's flipping or the fable that's rummaging? Probably the fa probably the one that's about to flip. That's kind of what I was thinking, though it is actually a difficult question. Um, I actually think the one that is going to let them rummage... Oh, the problem is... Mm. They're going to rummage anyway. This, make this is two turns from them starting to... Um, this I is think take the one that flaps. Yeah. Just keep it simple. So one, two, pitch shardless agent. My hand isn't really doing much though. It's just kind of annoying. Yeah. That happens. Yeah. What are you going to do on upkeep? What are you flickering? You gonna flick a chalice? You're flickering the yeah, chalice. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's a nice play. So nice play from opponent. All right. Well, they now have access to some mana. All right. They get to rummage. Hmm. Not gonna lie, I'm not sure how we get out of this pickle right now. 
Yeah, I think this one's probably a loss. Yeah. Let's see if we draw out. Let me see what we draw out. But I think this is a bit of a loss. I wonder if that first... No, I think that first hand we get, like, let's not do the bi- the, the bias of, like, well, we drew landed this, but we draw that now. Mm-hmm. I think we... Okay, so Chalice comes back on zero. Let's see what we draw. Yeah, GG. Yeah, just concede. Just concede. Let's save our time. Let's save our clock. Okay, so I think we just ship it back. I'm just wondering if there's anything else you want to... Maybe take out endurances for Minsk on the play. Yeah, just be very proactive then. Yeah. Let's do that. All right, and we want to... I mean, we're both too... Sure. Yeah, this seems fine. So what, turn... So what, you want to go turn one, suspend, Mm -hmm. and then turn two, make a bunch of things, and then we have... Yeah, and if they chalice, we've got that for chalice as well. So keep this. We'll go to Tropical Island. All right, Pona, what are you doing? Oh, I like the I like the flicker play with um the flicker play with touch and chalice. That's very cute. Uh I haven't done that in a long while. I haven't done that since like pre ban initiative. Okay. We'll pass the turn. Right, we don't have anything so I'm sure they yield because we don't have any plays. Chalice on zero. Okay, that's kind of annoying but sure uh we have to take just side t- the island our plan is to bounce the chalice on their end stop right yeah so Did they keep a slow hand? Oh, opponent. No, no, no. You did not just keep an island chalice hand. Oh, opponent. No, <laughs> that's not how you play initiative. <laughs> that's not how you play initiative. Oh, Habibi, no. This is not the way it goes. Oh. I'm, I'm, sa- I'm, I'm actually, like, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit sad for my... Uh, I'm a little bit sad for my initiative home, not gonna lie. Oh, they have to kind of clean up. <laughs> Opponent, no, that's not how you play initiative. <sighs> I mean. Yeah, just do it with the lands. We can do it with keep the lands? those. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can keep those in hand. Okay, do you wanna. Oh. Do we need to fetch. T- like. Fetch Island? Uh. They don't play wasteland or. No, they, they may have two. They, the only thing I'm thinking is Magus, but even then, we just we have we have ways to deal with it. That's the only thing. Yeah, else. and we're way ahead on board. Yeah, as so well. let's just get a t- t- no drop, drop, drop. Drop, yeah. Drop. All right, let's get Charlotte's agent down. Uh, let's get Charlotte's agent doing its thing. Opponent. Oh, not quite a lot of the library. Uh-huh. Yep. They are going to play Charles on zero again, which is going to be a bit annoying. So I'll. Uh, That's fine. Uh, we've got 10 power on board. We've got a 3 1 flyer we can play as well. Yeah. And a 2 2. And many 2 2s. Yeah, two-twos. we can just play 2 2s. <laughs> Opponent. I'm, I'm actually a little bit sad for my opponent right now. As an initiative player, like that is, I mean, like play your chrome marks or something. Like you know what I mean? I don't know. I, I like I don't know in what world if Chalice on zero basic and like a bunch of free, let's see what they play because I'm I'm I am intrigued now. But maybe they've got like their own spirit guides and just no other stable mana and yeah, then like yeah, four that's drops. The, yeah, that's right? what. Yeah, like that's the only other <laughs> thing that could be. It's like your your hand is just like two like three spirit guides, basic planes. Oh, there's no. a chrome ox. Okay, so all right. Well, their mana's a little. I wasn't expecting chrome ox if they played chalice first. 
Like they drew Chromox. They, yeah. They drew Chromox. I think they drew it for turn. Now their man is a tiny more stable. But again, like, what are you pitching for, Ferlingus? Any initiative creature, we just take it from yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Oh, I forget. Lauren revealed is a bit is a is looks weird on um the Exile yeah. Mystery Guide. Yeah, you're actually, uh, Sarah. You're correct. The mana the manner was unstable. I think it was Simeon Spirit Guide manner because they tried to yeah they put it under Simeon Spirit Guide. And now they play Chalice on Zero. Okay. <laughs> so your mana was very unstable. Yeah, you you are correct, Sarah. Their mana was very unstable. That's kind of what happens in initiative. Sometimes you just want to keep those hands where you're like, okay, that's fine. They pitched into dungeon. Okay, so their hand was just like four drops and interaction. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. You're going to hit a rhino? Yep, sure. And you're going to flicker it. Okay, that's a nice play. That's a nice play. So I get rid of our rhinos. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, that's... Okay. I, again, I'm still not sure if I... Like... So now Solitude actually comes back as a 3-2. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. I Maybe I, I have humble pie with my opponent now. Okay. Well, we now can't cast this Rhino. That's... I've got one. It got... wasn't coming off anyway. Yeah, I've got one turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, well, I mean, we can island cycle, swing, um, and then play Brazen Borrower on that I'm... turn, is kind of what I'm thinking. I kind of want to draw three cards, but maybe island cycling is probably better. Oh, right, we'll turn yeah. those spirit guides into cards. Mm. I mean, it's discarding three to draw three. Yeah, maybe that's not... Yeah, maybe you're right, that's not... Uh, though maybe keeping in hand is correct. I'm not... I'm not sure. Mm. It's actually very hard. Yeah. Um, they're very low resources, so I kind of want to trade resources where we can. Yeah. So, what do you want to just attack with Shardless or just. Yeah, attack with Shardless first. Let's see what happens. And I'm pretty sure I want to play Brazen Borrower, but maybe we keep the Lorien Revealed in hand. Because yeah, if we just... just draw one more land, then yeah, it yeah. is netting cards. Yeah, so let's just pass and then we can yeah. just flash this in and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, because they're currently not doing what? They're not doing much, but they are. Um, our damage isn't doing much either. Yeah, but just... we're gonna play a brazen borrower, so we're developing our clock. All right, so we go twenty-four. They go to twenty-one. Look at it, look at that, look at this healthy life totals we're all on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they're not doing anything yet. This is this is their game plan. Okay, so I think in that respect we just play all the blue, play Brazen Borrower, and untap. All right. Well, our thing isn't coming off. Very sad. It gets countered by Chalice. Maybe. I think you still cast it to get it counted, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, yeah, swing for five. I think now it makes sense to convert. So I think holding on to the Lorien Revealed was correct. Yeah, yeah, agreed. From you, because it makes mana draws like turn into business. So... Exile. I think Elvish and Simeon. Yeah. So so we'll just do these. So make green, make red, and then these can all just be blue. Let me draw five cards. I'll draw three, three cards. cards. Five cards. I got very excited. It was like... five cards. Oh, oh. my god. Okay. Sure. Okay. That's not the worst. Um, yep, we can actually through. we can actually uh, fire this solitude with the mana we have mm -hmm. in our hand as well. So yep. maybe if that's something we do. Okay, this is all right. I think that was a de half decent conversion of cards into. Um, do we want to 
fire this solitude? Well, let's see what they do first. If this is not now, not if it's just going to cost us stuff, yeah. I think like as long as this is the holding pattern, we're pretty happy. Maybe you have chalice on zero. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like we're currently winning the race, right? Yeah. Like we're netting two life a turn on them. Yeah. Okay. So let's untap. See what we draw. Okay, now we're shot Alright, let's attack for five. Mm -hmm. We have more mana than God. Is this what Cloud Close players feel like? <laughs> <laughs> when they when they have all mana? No, I oh. think we just pass. Yeah, yeah. Like they need to do something. Yeah, then, and we've then you... got ways of punishing now as yeah. well. Like if they even if they force through an initiative creature, like we can just kind of like tap it and take the initiative potentially. Mm, agreed. All right, this cavern. What are you caverning on? Human Arch archon's kind of annoying, but again, I think it's. I'd probably just go human if you're wanting to cast your spells. Yeah, yeah. What's this? Is this Loran? Archon of Emeria. Oh, that's annoying. We can tap okay, yeah. it. We can tap it. And step. Yeah. And draw a card. We'll see. Let's see. Um, I've kind of got... Right, let them... Uh, do, you... do you want to kill the Solitude or do you want to tap down the Archon? We might be able to get them to just kill their Archon, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, probably. I think just let this happen. Yep, yeah, let's go. All right, so they're on 17, we're on 18. Okay. And just draw for turn. Yeah. We have Fury in our deck. Like, let's not forget, folks, we still have Fury. Uh -huh. We've got Furies, we've got a bunch of stuff. Oh, land's not too bad either, actually. Okay, so land, it'll come in tap. Don't play it yet, because yeah. it'll come in tap. So, okay, so swing with both. Swing with both, swing for five. They might, yeah, they might just exchange this. Instead. Yeah, and if they block the Shardless Agent, we can fire one to them, one to their face. Yeah. Folks, we got ourselves a game. Okay. They're letting this through. They're letting it through. Okay, so this goes okay. to five. Yep. Just pass. Uh, or play I the land. I think make land. Make an Elvis Spirit Guide, maybe? You don't want to hold up the fire ice? Well, you are, because oh, you've we have got spirit. Elvis Spirit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, make just... a green spirit guide. Okay, make green spirit guide. Cast this. The other thing was casting a Shardless Agent and then just not casting the Cascaded spell. No, that's fine. So do you want to tap it down now, or...? Oh, no, we have to fire. No, 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 no. Oh, no We're... I kind of just want to, like not do anything unless we have to okay but have like the option okay because they could go like initiative creature and not swing yeah and um, just hold the initiative then, yeah but then we can like kill something and get in yeah oh they might just hold back this is a hold back i think they're holding back Okay, that's fine. Just pass. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're drawing to our outs, though. That's the thing. Yeah, we're. I think we're still ahead. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'd have to use both our spirit guides, but I think that's fine. I mean, we can go get. We can tap. We can get basic. Ooh. Oh yeah, we can get basic. Yep. So yep, get yep. basic yep. mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah get base. And then use Elvis Spirit Guide yeah, to cast yeah. that. Uh, get Basic Mountain. One, two. And then you want Elvis Spirit Guide? Mm hmm. And. Cast off Fury. It makes sense more, I think, to keep the Simeon Spirit Guide in case we need to pitch cast for fire uh, at some point. So. 
kill Archon or kill Solitude? Uh, kill Archon, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and then put one damage on Solitude. Yep. And then... Because if they want a flicker to save something, we want them flickering the Archon, not the Solitude, right? Yep. And then attack. Just flunge. Yeah. Alright. We are getting clocked. We are getting clocked. Yeah, they're going to trade. That's fine. Oh, they're going to flicker it. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, that's annoying. Right. That's fine. So take the damage. They go to seven. They get rid of our fury. I'm running this board today again where I'm actually comfortable. Yeah, but I'm also... Yeah, true. I mean, we're back to 20. All I right. mean, even if they hit a land and play like a season dungeon here... Yeah. Yeah, we're not doing... I'm going to yield through their turn because we, we have yeah. no place, so I'm just going to yield until end step. Because even if they do... All right, well, there's their land. The yep, season so dungeon... I assume this is a season dungeon here now. Yeah. Oh, caves. Caves is... Any initiative oh, no, season... oh, there you go. Okay. I mean, we just... We just get the initiative. Yeah, we just get the initiative. Yeah, we just get the initiative back. Like... I mean, they attack. We go to eight. They go to eight. We go to 17. Look at, folks, we've got ourselves a game. If we ever trap them, they just die. Yeah, yeah. So... Is not okay. Right. okay. Uh, just swing. Just with the team? Yeah, yeah. Because if they block anything, we could fire away the dungeon air even yeah, after think... damage. All right, let's and attack. then we get hard cast force of will. Yeah. Potentially as well. They probably have to block, right? Yeah. There you go. So the fires yeah. really work. So 3 5, they go to 3. Yep. Do damage first. Yeah. Let's get our basic island. Yeah, I think so. Basic Island. Go to damage. Play Basic Island. Do we just do this now? Yeah. Get rid oh. of the season to now. And then we just pass. I play a Shardless Agent. I don't see any reason not to. Just don't cast the Cascaded thing. This, we got ourselves a game, folks. This is an actual <laughs> game of Magic the Gathering. I did not expect the initiative uh, Crashcade matchup to be as grindy as it is, but here we are. I think this makes the point that you kind of can't just keep lock pieces in initiative. Mm, 100%. Like, you need like some consistent way to have some pressure as exactly. well as the lock pieces. Agreed. Because we've just had so much time to develop the fact that we like draw more cards than them and yeah there you go yeah oh wow okay that was uh that was a game and a half folks okay we are two and oh folks we're back for ra we're playing against karoz um karoz is last seen playing s bavile um but uh, yes okay. we are playing against s bavile is sarah we saw the list earlier today. Um, they're playing. Right. Esp they're playing the vile, all the value, Samwise, good stuff deck. <laughs> well, okay. this hand is not good. No, this hand is absolutely oh. god awful. Uh, but this hand, this hand, not so bad. Okay. Yeah, yeah. if it does, I can. Put I a, can vibe with us. Put a tropical island back, probably. Uh, it depends where we want to suspend footfalls on one or not. Probably do right yeah, against so put a, Vile. Put a misty, put a misty back, or put a Lauren reveal back. Even 
Do they play Wastelands in Aspervile? Uh, can you check? I think they don't, but I don't want to... If they do, I want to put Prop Island back. If they don't... Maybe it's just Trop Island no matter what, yeah, let's to be just, honest. Yeah, so let's keep... We'll put Tropical Island back, and then we can fetch... Uh, oh, they're going first. Let's, let's, let's see what yep. they're going first, right? I can't do anything on I'm on, on a... second spirit guide draw. All right. Well, you just going polluted delta. No vial on turn one. That's, That's very good for, good us. for us. That's basically spirit guide on turn one. Um, okay. Well, let's. I mean, it isn't. We, we, <laughs> like, we, we don't we... get to do okay. it on turn one. All right. Let's All go right. get tropical island. Tropical island? Yeah, tropical island. Yeah. Tropical island. <laughs> Suspend rhinos. No. Really I have a feeling like our first thing is going to get Force of World, so... Probably. I'm kind of glad for these Lorian reveals. Lorian reveals doing God's work. Okay. I mean, I mean, Carol's might not be playing this, but if you reveal Yorian and you've got a uh, polluted delta... Oh, yeah. Swamp. Okay, so this is Sam... Stoneforge Mystic. Okay, that's okay. That's a good way to pass to the test yeah. immediately. Cauldra. Yeah, that's that is a way we the games get finished in this. Okay, well then I am not as scared of Force of Will now. Yeah. Because basic swamp, basic planes. I mean, if they have Force of Will, we're in trouble no matter what. Like, oh, there's, we don't there's, have there's our cold, there's our cold insurance. I think. Okay. Um. Um. I mean, we've got five hours. So we can kind of do it whenever, but I think we can just. Yeah. So we can go misty rainforest. Let them go to their turn. Yeah. Uh, see what they do. They're probably just putting in a cauldra. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we fire an outburst on, on their, their turn. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. This looks like very fair magic from opponents. We're giving them extra risk of drawing force of well, but yeah. I don't know. I'm not that. Oh, that's better. Okay, well, there's the wasteland. Okay, well now we have to do it. <laughs> okay, well let's get get volcanic island probably. Uh yeah. Um. Force the issue now. I mean, I'm kind of glad we got these Lauren reveals, honestly, now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, is this f 6 Yeah, we're being f 6 Okay. All right. Okay. We really want to hit a land here. Yeah. I mean, we have ways to hit land, but it's... Yeah, but just so we have, oh, like... Oh, there we go. Oh, fine. fine. Okay. Okay, babe, we'll play Scalding Tarn, and we're attacking. And Squing, and yeah, our plan's to bounce the jam. Yeah. Attack for eight. Look at this tempo stuff we're doing. Look at this tempo. Mm -hmm. Get your jam first. Okay. Yep. Living okay, weapon. We bounce it. Do we? If we're now conscious of wasteland, are we just going to accept that wasteland's a thing, or we're we just going to get like basic? Yeah, either? I think we lean in. At just this lean point. in. Just get trop or tiger. Uh, trop. Trop. Uh, yeah, get trop. Okay. Uh, get this petty theft germ. Shoot. Attack for eight. I've come to tempo. <laughs> I've come to tempo. Is this when is our next one coming off? It's next turn, right? Correct. Will... Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, two more turns. Okay. Uh, I'll just put this here. There we go. Our footfall counter is on two, so two more turns. Swords, sure. Mm -hmm. I mean that's understandable. I feel like one fawn removal is like not like not say it's. Not saying it's not bad, but it's. I don't think that's where. No. 
We want in Son of War. They have a battle skull in hand now. I mean, but true, but it, we yeah. we have to. We have we have no choice. Yeah. We must. Ooh, okay. I mean, that's an answer to yeah. if they do at okay. least for this turn. So so let's attack. Yep. Mm-hmm. I have a four four. Can I interest you in a four four? Oh. Okay. It might have been better to do Lorien Revealed first. Because uh. now we're going to miss out on the chance of doing that if we have to yeah. answer something. What's this? Okay. Sure. I mean, we've got the clean answer to that in our hand. Yeah. Oh, they want to du- oh, they want to triple block it? Oh, God, let them. <laughs> yeah, sure, Habibi. Live your best life. Oh, that my... seems so desperate. Okay. Oh, Habibi, why are you why are you triple block? Uh, okay. Just left to ping right. Ping down, ping down the bowmaster and the army, and leave the order as it is. Hold on. Oh, you want it? You want it? Okay. So let, hold on. Let's give me a sec. Yeah. Um. Hold on. Yeah. We'll leave it. We'll leave it like that. Yep. And, and then... then you fire a new target. The back two. Fire. One. One. Oh. Yeah, oh. I'm really regretting the fact we didn't lure him reveal first, but that's fine. Here we are. Here we are. All right. <laughs> this one rider <laughs> is going the distance. All right. Well, we're getting two more in a minute, so that's the Sahara right now for sure. Well, that's this is this is how I love to write. Okay. Well, let's see if they've got four solo. I don't know if they, I mean they they probably do, but. <laughs> Let's see. All right. No, I think they would have forced fire if mm, they had it. That's what exactly. Can I interest you in more rhino? Please and thank you. Here is some more rhino. Oh, they are forcing it. Okay. Okay. Pitching Holbridge. I mean, okay. the Holbridge is kind of a whatever, but yeah, sure. We should have, we should have Lauren revealed. What are you doing, Happy B? Snapcaster mage. Snapcaster swords. Okay, all right. happy be alright. Yep, they're uh, trying to stabilize the board. I mean, uh, sure, feel something. Uh, I mean, this is feeling something, all right. That's true. Yeah, so they're <laughs> going to stabilize with no cards at hand at seven life. Okay, uh, we go get a land with okay. Lauren Refield. Uh, I mean, get two lands if you want. Uh, uh, let's not, unless they play Wasteland, right? Yeah. Like. We potentially want to keep it to Basic Brookhart. Island? Or do you want to get Volcanic Island? Uh, yeah, let's get Basic Island, because it's no cost at this point, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, that's a bit annoying. Eh, it's fine, we're not, you know. Okay. Um. Yeah, we should have done the previous turn I was on me. I apologise. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, they are on seven. <laughs> <laughs> Opponent is at seven. It's not beat about the bush. All right, you attack for two. You want to feel something, opponent? Again, the, the Esper Vile deck to me is, it feels like a deck that it is very powerful, but it feels like a deck that is from like 2018. That makes sense. Yeah. It it feels like the power level. I mean, Orkish Bone Monster is a very powerful magic card, but. Um, okay, they put Yorian into her hand. Okay, so they want to root Yorian next turn. Okay, that's yeah. kind of a problem. Okay, let's. Okay. Hmm. Kind of just tempted to... So they've got Yorin in hand, that's it? Like... Yeah, so their game plan is to probably Yorin next turn. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Um, if we make our two dudes... We can make the two um... dudes on end step, like their end step, but then we have to deal with Cauldra. Yeah, they're going to flick a cauldron, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they're going to flick a cauldron. Probably flick a snapcaster. Snapcaster what, though? I mean, it just means it can block again. Yeah, yeah, right? exactly. Um, how are we winning this game? Um, we probably need to actually draw with Lorien yeah, to yeah. win this game. Uh, so, yeah, I think we just pass with the intention of... Why not have us to... on their end step? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then any land will let us Lorien revealed. Yeah, agreed. God, they might stabilize. <laughs> I mean, if they stabilize, sure. I mean, they're going to six. Oh, they're not. Oh, 
Yeah, attack. they attack first. Yeah, of course, they attack right. first. Oh, we could have fallen outbursted now. Oh, yes, we could have. Mm, that, that's that's really silly. That's, yeah. that's fine. That's fine. Oh, are they just casting it now? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. That's a, yeah, we should have done that. That's on us. Okay. So they pick their target. And we can do it now. Before everything comes yeah. in. Yeah, do it now. Uh, where the hell's my spell oh, gone? It, it's right there. Sorry, it's so small. I was like, okay. Okay, so now they have a cauldra. <laughs> yes, you can target your force with a flashback. Let's put this back here. Okay, we need land. That doesn't even get a rhino anymore. Does it not? We've we, we hit all. Yeah, we've hit all three of us. Okay. Yeah. It's just. Um. I mean, we we have a blocker for this Yorian, but that's not really kind of the way we want to go. Yeah, I think we still just have to like play the um the brazen borrower. Yeah. It's kind of like all that's happening on their turn, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, we're not attacking. Oh, they have stabilized. Oh my god. That is terrifying. All right, folks. Deck still good. Who knew that two 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 ones and two? I mean, post board we have all right, battle. Yes. Yep. Yeah. That's still very good. Yeah, that's got blocks exceptionally well. Are oh, they going to attack? They're not going to attack. Okay, well then. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's. They're very much the control deck here. They just yeah. want to make sure they don't lose because they're in a really good spot. Ah. Oh. We can make our rhino a 7 7 <laughs> a trample. That, that doesn't, doesn't do a lot. I mean, you can just keep making. We can just keep make, like, we make Minsk and Boo, we make a 4-4, pass, and then we can just sack it to draw four cards, like, hit them for four, they go to three. I mean, they are yeah. gaining, like, they, I mean, we block, we block Batter Skull here. I mean, make a Rhino a 7-7 seven, seven threatens lethal next turn, right? That's also true. We can also do that as well. Yeah, that's probably what we're doing. Okay, so, so let's, let's Exile Simus Bro Guide. Green, green, red. Yeah. The issue is Batter Skull's going to get them out of it, but drawing seven might just be... Enough. ...what we need. Uh, yes, we yeah. will use Miscombo's ability. Plus uh, a Rhino... <laughs> and then I think we just pass. Yep. Oh wait, we won't be drawing seven because it's not a hamster. But yeah, we, we don't do it for seven though. Yes, but they're gonna gain four, right? I mean, just I mean, yes, but I think. Yeah, we'll yeah. we'll see what happens. Like, this is getting towards where we need this to be. The yeah. issue is we need some way of dealing with Coldra's first strike ability. Yeah. Cruta, okay. Get a solitude. With one card in hand. Flicker Wisp? Orcish Bone Masters. Okay, so they're gonna Okay, maybe we should have made these. Okay. Yeah, so now they get to kill our uh, Minskimbo. Uh, yes. Which is annoying. Oh god, how did that board get so big? Okay. Alright. What are they attacking? They're just attacking Minskimbu? Yeah, okay, that's annoying. Yep, I'm Minskimbu dies. Jeez Louise, that board has just got so big so fast. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I think we're dead. Yeah, I don't GG. think we can beat yeah, this now. I don't think so either. We do have stuff post board. Mm -hmm. Okay, post board. All right, let's get these furies in. All right, the d all right. Brotherhood's end. Do we want blood moon? They're not really a blood moon. Dagger. The man a bit. The man is not doing good. Um, it's whether you want force of vigor, but it doesn't hit cauldron, but it hits batter skull. But I don't think it's good enough. I think this does. I think Brotherhood's end probably does enough already. Yeah, I don't think it's what we're doing. Yeah. Um, do you want endurance? What does endurance do? Versus blocks. Them. That's literally it. Blocks. That's it. But I don't think that's good enough. Hmm. Um. Whole breacher doesn't do anything. Betrayal doesn't do anything. What does energy flux do again? It's the the artifact of the sack in the shape too. They can they can keep their culture and their battle skull alive. Oh, unless they go for like turn two and then they just have to. Yeah. The I thing th is, I think we just have to go real fast. Mm, I agree. Do you want to cut to force negations? Them. Should we cut like two force negations? Because they're not really playing. I mean, well, they are playing like brainstorms and swords and stuff, but whether you want to. I mean, it's for forcing force, right? Yeah. That, that's usually the the thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Trim like two force negations, maybe. Yeah, and we'll then just have happens. and then just have removal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this doesn't Let's deal hope with. We just open a fast hand. Yeah. Like this deals with everything above from Yorian and like Caldra, but it deals with everything else. So they're like go white creatures. It doesn't. It doesn't deal with battle skull, but yeah, yeah. I mean, but we have like we have we have full brazen borrow for that. Like, also they can just cast it. Like, all right, let's go. All right. Fast hands, please. This is not a not fast a hand. Fast hand. I think this is probably fast enough. Yeah, just. You know, put it back Brotherhood's end, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Trop, Footfalls. Mm-hmm. Um, we really need to draw, like, another way of making Footfalls, but... Yeah, agreed. That's where we're at. Yeah, I think that maybe the maybe the other creature strategies are just like against a deck like this are just good enough. Do you know what I mean? Like it has like you can just gum the board, like your creatures can't really push through. Like, again, I'm not saying that we're, you know, losing this game. I'm just thinking like it's it's interesting that um Okay, well that's something. Mm -hmm. Last turn. A fetching. Fetching for what? Okay. Basic planes, tundra, scrubland. I got the words the oyster. Imagine basic planes. We'll see. Scrubland, okay. Soul lantern. Oh, I was, I was, I was correct. Okay, Stoneforge. Okay, well, we have an answer to Cauldra. So that's good. Yep. I feel like Cauldra is just like people forget about it and then it just kills you. You're like, oh, I see. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Pass. Just play it. Yeah, yeah, pass down. <laughs> this was not as fast as I would have we would have liked, but uh No. Maybe it was correct to go to five. I mean we have interaction like this is again i'm not trying to justify it anyway but i think like oh three mana recruiter sure get solitude solitude bowman like that's basically most of their deck lavinia yeah oh, that makes sense that's quite good does that turn off the 
It turns off the cascade, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ugh, yikes. Okay. Do we need to, like, play a borrower? To, like, put... No, we just... need both of them. Yeah. We need both petty thefts, because we will probably have to bounce Lavinia as well. Yeah. Okay, well, uh... Okay, so it's next turn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeesh. Or we just kill Lavinia. That's also the other option. We probably have to kill Stoneforge. Now? Or when it ends? Yeah, now. Alright, let's do this. Just now. stop them putting in Cauldra and then we don't necessarily have to deal with it. So fire, deal two to this. Yeah. And then lay Lavinia and we bounce it with our Crash Cade on the stack, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or we could do it on their own step if we had to. Yeah. Who knew that death and taxes adjacent decks <laughs> make make our very fast combo deck difficult to play? Teferi? We have to force uh, negation. Yeah, yeah, we chance. can absolutely not have that. Absolutely not. You can't have this. Thank God. Okay. Well, Lavinia is... Does that mean they've got force? If they didn't play maybe. Lavinia? I mean, why would you play Teferi? I mean, maybe they drew Teferi. Teferi's, like, better than Lavinia if it stacks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'd like to cast this. This is all force negation. Pitching Lavinia. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Well, well now they have a Cauldra and two, two unknowns. Unknowns. Okay. Well, I think yep. we just passed. I think mean, we just, mm -hmm. just hold fire. They pitch Lavinia. That's so interesting. This feels really rough. Well, not. We haven't got any pressure. Yeah, I know. Let's see what they play. Another recruiter. Holy Moses. Okay. This isn't like, it's not even Espival. It's just recruiter of the guard dot deck. Do you want <laughs> the best toughness two or less creature? Then boy, do I have the card for you. It is called recruiter of the guard and this card is very good. Yeah, another Stoneforge mystic. Sure. Get batter score this time, probably. Yeah, that would make sense. So the hand is Cauldra Batter Skull Unknown card. We have yeah, to kill... I think we have to fire the Stoneforge yeah. Mystic now. Yeah, get this lady out of here. Alright. I mean, we're sort of in a holding pattern right now, that's the problem. Alright, mm -hmm. attack for one. Oh god, are we going to just die to these two car creatures killing us? Please and thank you, no. Okay. Alright, well, we're just having a bunch of interaction. Yep, pass. We have to pass. I mean, we really like a way to make a rhino. Yeah, I'd love to make rhino, please. Please and thank you. So they got Cauldra, Batter Skull, and two unknowns. And five mana. I mean, all right. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, all right. This is fine. This is actually okay. All right. They're gonna put Yorin in their hand. I think they cast him. Bounce skull. Just cast. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. I just flicker it. I think we just bounce the germ. Yeah. yeah. You know it's got to that part of the game <laughs> where everyone's just like, here's my haymaker. All right. Yep. Okay. Uh, we just say pass. And then just end step flash in a brazen borrower. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, they might be able to... <laughs> All right. They attack for two. <laughs> so we're dying to these one ones. I can feel it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fine. We have out. They're gonna get to play a Yorian and flicker everything and we just lose. <laughs>
<laughs> let's let, let's see. Let's let's. We have. Like we have out still. Like we can play. We've got our own force will. Oh, we need to fetch. Um, let's fetch for. Basic island. Yeah. Oh, let's get time. Then. Basic island. And then play our brazen borer. That's not what I wanted to see. I mean, I did ask for a way to make rhinos. I should have been more specific. You should have been very specific on what you wanted. Are we just dead? I feel like we're just dead. Because they flickered this. They go get a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, folks, this is what happens when a grindy deck kills you. Yeah, uh, we needed a hand that just went faster than what yeah. we had. Our hand is not like, fast enough right now. They are fundamentally a control deck, and we just gave them too much time yeah. in both games. And we and I, for the sake of time, we actually are going to concede because I think it is just this. We're not going to be able to beat a Yorian flickering a batter skull, flickering two tutor targets and things like that. So, I am just going to say GG to my opponent as a show of respect. GG. Too much value, smiley face. And we will concede. Right. Okay. Th that's absolutely fine. Two one <laughs> with a deck like this, so we should be good. Folks, we'll be back for round four, and let's see if we can get a four one. Folks, we're here for round four again. We won the die roll, Sarah. Look at look at us winning the die roll all the time. So easy. So <laughs> easy playing Magic the Gathering. We cannot keep this hand up. <laughs> this hand I is. I mean, or can I we? Mean... So Lorien Revealed is another land. It is another. That's two lands. What are we doing on the play? We're not doing anything. We're just going land, go. <laughs> yeah, but we got enough interact. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess we've lost from just not keeping stuff that goes fast enough. Okay. Okay. Mulligan. Oh, Mulligan. We're going to be... Oh, but, but we had so much interaction. Okay, that's fine. That's Mulligan. Yeah. Okay. I. Okay. This is... A this bit... is two lands and an accelerant. Yeah, we can keep we this. We can keep this. We're gonna put back Charlotte's agent. The right? crashing footfall. Oh yeah, crashing... I think. Oh yeah, put yeah, go... shoe. You're not meant to be in my opening hand. Um, shoe. Yeah. So we turn two footfalls them, and we've got interactions. So. All right. Let's go. Um, upkeep. Oh, let's just cost for our turns. Uh, land. And could we just go? <laughs> just... We can cycle on that turn. Yeah, yeah. That's it. When do we cycle ends? Okay, opponent, show us something. I don't know. Anything, actually. You can show us anything. Show us something bad. Show us oh, ain't Chalice on one? Okay, so mono red initiative. Yeah. Um, They're going to be so sad. That is the wrong number. <laughs> look, in the blind, we spoke about this before in previous episodes. In yeah. the blind, you, you go. Okay, so tropical island. Yeah. But that's one of the strengths of this, is that yeah. we're making that in the blind play less good. Yeah, Tropical Island, I think. And then Lorien Revealed get... Volk? Volk? Yeah. Yeah. So now we look like... Now I think the, the, the game is up, so... Uh, mm -hmm. So they're like, oh, my chalice on one. Okay. Well, now I think we can just go Rhinos. Yep. And uh, uh, i like to make 10 power, please. Uh, please and thank you. Uh, <gasps> okay. Yield to this. Oh. I a liked... very quick one. It was very quick. Opponent's just uh, F6. <laughs> Alright. So let's see what they're doing. Because it, if it is mono red, this is still fine. If it's initiative that's a little less fine but we did beat initiative earlier so let's see what happens it could also be um okay so this is fury okay so it is mono red pitching mm -hmm. fable mm. yeah i'm pretty happy about that yeah. please eat a rhino. two cards for one rhino yeah all right i mean again for again i feel like we're getting like i'm getting my prowess of this is uh, caves? Yeah, sure, that's fine. They get okay. a land. So they probably want to be... So, let's see, if we've got four... 
Did it pitch the in spirit guide? Yes, they did. Okay, so so your hand is mountain. I mean, what else do you have? I mean, I think it might just be small creatures, honestly. Like, getting the initiative is quite good, but again, we'll just see what we draw. Ottawa is not a bad draw. Okay, so if we go land, we can swim with both and use Violent Outburst to force either creature to be a trade, or to ambush them on the way back if they try and take the I like, initiative I like, back. I, I think we push. I think we push. They've got three cards. Like, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, we get to do both, right? Yeah. Like, if they don't block, we don't have to do it now. Yeah. So and if they do block, then we push. Okay, so Ottawara is a land. Let's push for six. I think it's pretty natural for them to block Shardless Agent, and then Violent Outburst just makes that a trade. Yeah, yeah so it's right. Violent Outburst. Uh, that was, like, a super lucky draw. <laughs> that's, uh, yields the disability. Uh, oh, my meds come! Oh. <laughs> they were like, nope, forget about it. I don't want to deal with this matchup. <laughs> okay, right. We're like, against mono, Moon Stompy. Mono Red Prison, Moon Stompy. I love to bring these furies in, please, and thank you. Brotherhood's End also seems very good. End, very good. Um, so, okay, what am I playing? Okay, I need to now think in my head what. So they have Dead Guns. Mm hmm. And like that's probably it. I'd br I if I was them on the other side of the fence, I'd bring in Dead Gone. Um and like maybe Fiery Con again Fiery Cons doesn't do anything. Um Yeah, maybe just like Dead Gones. Um like maybe some Magus effects. I am expecting moon effects to be more prevalent. Um Maybe more Magus than Blood Moon, but okay. um, I think those are the things I'd probably bring in. I'm trying to think what else the current lists are running. Again, it's like Ley Lines, don't do anything. Um, okay, so I kind of want to trim that Endurance we have in our deck. Yeah, yeah. it literally currently. is. It's just an Ambush Viper right now. And then, honestly, like I feel like Force Effects might be good. Like on the on the do they do they play pyr many pyroblasts? Uh, yes, one to two, depending on how blue they okay. think it is right now. So I'd expect then one maybe to two. shave a couple force negations. Oh, yeah. There you go. Just uh, so we just... don't have the two to. Yeah. So if they do chalice on one, we have force of world in case they go for it. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think the only things <laughs> I'm. Yeah, I think force of world deals with everything we want to deal with. Um. Yeah, I think our force negation is probably the cut. You are correct. Okay, so let's do this. So I think, again, we're both board-based strategies. Um, but this time they will just chalice for zero. Um, which they should. Uh, sure. This is turn two. Turn yep, two with turn force. Turn two with oh. force interaction. Yeah. We've got ways around Blood Moon. Like, all... This seems like everything we this could ask This is all for. we want. This is all we ever wanted. Laura Revealed has actually been, like, for me, when we're playing this, playing through this, it's actually been, like, the silent, not MVP, but I feel like it's showing its colours today. Chalice on zero? Yeah, that's absolutely fine, my friend. Mm -hmm. Go? Oh, they went go. Mm. Oh, are they leaning on it? They are leaning on it. We know what happened last time when someone lent on a chalice on zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think we just go fetch Lango. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. We we like we get to be a little greedy. We do get to be which is nice. I kind of wondering what we want to use this force on. Is it going to be a threat? It's probably going to be a threat. Yeah. Like I'm trying to think. Especially if they try and power anything out. Oh. Like if we can trade it for multiple cards out of yeah, them, yeah. it feels pretty good. Let's see what they do. So Sakenzen, is this Rabbles? That's Goblin Rabbles. Oh. Okay, so I think we probably... It sucks because like Fire Ice is quite a good answer to that, yeah. usually. Yeah, but I don't... Um, I kind of want to force pitching the Fire Ice in that case. Yeah, because we're not using it, so we just might as well use it. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, my friend. Don't... Okay. 
I was very worried the Simeon Spirit Guide Pyroblast thing, which I loved doing back in the day. Uh, mm -hmm. ha! Ha Okay, let's... Uh... Okay, so we probably are on site. Oh! Oh, sorry, my... I passed. Oh, man. That was on me. I apologize. Okay. Uh, okay. right. Let's go forward. Um... Well, then I just think we just play Island Pass... Mm -hmm. Instead. With the idea of bouncing the chalice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. And then we just go off on turn three. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. Oh, apologies, that was on me. I... That's cool. We drew a land anyway. Yeah. We drew the land. We drew a land. Everything is fine. Okay. So now it's. So, okay. Now we've got four mana. So this is Coco. Okay. Coco's fine. Mm -hmm. Like. I feel like the initiative here is actually good for us in a weird way. Yeah, but... as long as they don't have that many follow-ups to yeah. it. They got two cards. My my, I honestly think that my read is that well now they got so they got mountain two cards. So my read, like they could be holding fury. Like that's another thing to be mindful of. Um, yeah, we they're... kind of need our rhinos to be good. Yeah. So this is all right. So you opponent's done everything they want to do. We're getting Trop? Does it matter? Um, yeah, Trop. Because it'll turn into a mountain if they Blood Moon us anyway. Yeah, the Trop. And then we can get Forest or whatever with yeah, our... The Petty Death the Chalice. Back to your hand. Untap. Oh, maybe Volkos better. No, no, because we... Mm. Well, that's Volkos. Ooh, Minskimbo. So Min I still think we go for our Violent Outburst plan, but I do like Minsk and Boo. Yeah, so we go with Violent Outburst and then we can Elvish Spirit Guide at Minsk and Boo next time. Because they're going to replay the Chalice, yes. no matter what and we do. And then we just do so it in need... response. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, that's yeah. so let's go Wood of Fertils, pass the turn, and then we'll play this. They are making this a 7-5, so it is something to be cognizant of. Um, yeah. But I think we just have to... Well, it depends. If they want to kill us quickly, they'll make it a 7-5. If, they if they've got actual nothing... Oh, they have nothing. Okay, so my read is they have mana and no action. This is the read. If it was a 7-5, maybe there was an argument to like double blocking with both of the uh, yeah. uh, rhinos as well. Well, now we, can, now we can trade one. Now we can just yeah. trade with one. So, because they're going to be... They're gonna be five four, so we just trade up. We're just trading. So let them attack. This fury. Chalice on zero in response. Now we get Volk. Or yeah. Now we get Volk. So we probably fetch wrong before. It probably should have been Volk because then yeah. this could have been basic forest. Yes. Then we don't have to get Blood Moon. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, yes. Oh my god, it was so far down. Okay. So, we play this. We have five fours. I mean, they had to, like, force their hand. They had to force the situation. Is this Fury? This is probably Fury. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Are you bouncing one? You could bounce one. That's the other option. Maybe they got dead one. Because now I don't think they want to attack. Oh, let's see what they do. This Goblin Rabble Master. Legion War Boss. Okay, so we can block one. That's fine. So they make a friend. Thank you for being a friend. So we eat one all. Do we know any of the... Do we don't know anything else? We know about the Chalice in the Mountain. They've got those. They've yeah, adjusted... I think we have to block. Like, and, we like, don't... Yeah, like if they got a fury, they got a fury. Mm -hmm. Like, so be it. It still would just try it one for one, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is fine. Okay, so we. So I think next time we're just going to make a rather large. Oh! Okay. Do you want to make Minsk and Boo, or do you want to just make more rhinos? They've got a chalice. They have got a chalice. We can't make rhinos. Okay, so let's let's just make a Minskambu then. And make uh, it... So if you use Elvish Spirit Guide to land cycle, oh, yeah. or anything to land cycle, we can make a land drop as well. Okay, so like let's... convert it into a permanent mana source. Uh, let's just do... 
let's use the spirit guides. Okay, so let's the island. So we want basic. Well, we're gonna. Get, yeah, let's. It has to be an island. Yeah. So let's. Sorry. Go. So, trop probably. Yeah, trop. So trop for land. Make mince and boo. Um. Make hamster. I think we just put the counters on the hamster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. two, two. And a rumble. And then attack for eight. Mm-hmm. Well, twelve, right? Oh yes, it's got haste. Oh my goodness. Please give us twelve damage, please and thank you. Twelve is a lot. All right, they're taking. They're gonna. They're coca dies. We get a basic land drop for our lantern. Yeah, now we can get the forest. Yeah, and then we get the forest. So maybe it was good not to get the forest. Oh, we could always get a mountain. Yeah. I think. If I was we... gonna say like instead of like missing the trigger here. Um, is our Minskambu dying? Our Minskambu is probably dying. Yeah, but they'd have to swing out to do that, and then we've got like lethal on board that yeah. they need to take advantage of. Yeah, it's one, two. The fact they've gone the other way, I am not as worried. I mean, I am still worried, but like it's not as <laughs> ridiculous as the other one. So I think you probably just yeah, they are just attacking. Oh no, no, okay, they're they're, they're thinking about. They're attacking us and Minsk. Okay, they're attacking us for two, and they're attacking. So they Minsk take the initiative. Take okay, that's that's fair. I I like that play. I feel like this leaves the most likely dead though. I think they. Well, it depends what they have. Because if they have like a fury, then we're in big dodo. Mm -hmm. But they have to do that before we make our decisions. That's true. So. That is a very fair point. Sorry, folks. Notepad decided that now it wanted to open when I was trying to open up another document. Um, I'll find it later. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me give them a treasure token. Okay. Okay. Oh, jeez, they have so much mana. They have so much mana. That's actually... Two, four, seven, eight. Okay. Eight, hold on. No, they can. Oh, they have one out, one good out. Mm -hmm. And that is probably Shatter Skull for all their mana. Because they go Shatter Skull for six, which doubles it. So you can kill both the creatures. I see. Oh. That's, that's all your mana, though. So two, four, six. Two, four, seven, eight, yeah. Shatter Skull for six. Fury plus another creature. Oh, two more creatures. Uh, I'm trying to think what else you can have that would uh, be good for them. Another initiative creature is quite good. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not going to lie. Having played against two decks I know quite well has been quite useful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's always good to have like an orientation for yourself it's like what would i do <laughs> if i was opponent what would i do <laughs> play against this uh so yeah always have that in the back of your mind folks if you are um playing against stuff that you are proficient in or at least aware of it's always good to have um opponents still take opponents still thinking about it like this isn't an easy um an easy line for opponents, so it makes me think that they're too like I wonder if they're I wonder if they think they can Hold on, they have eight. So they can still play okay, let's see what they do. I wonder if they've no Fury Fury kill one Bounce another, that's also very good for them. Um, double bounce is exceptional, that's also very good. Why would you? Like, I'm trying to figure out like what like the two cards are, do you know what I mean? Like I'm trying to figure out like mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I honestly have no idea. Yeah. I feel like most of the options you've named, they would have just played yeah, them already. I would have just, yeah, so it makes... So are they trying to... Like, you want to play... Like, if you've got Trinosphere, Trinosphere does nothing. They might have Court. But Court does not... I mean, Court brings in, brings the monarchy, and then I have the monarchy and the initiative, and we all have a lovely time. Um... Fiery Confluence doesn't doesn't do anything on the board. Huh. Or or your or your hand is okay, they are no. Are they trying to do the Shatter Skull thing and they're not counting the mana properly? That could also be a okay. case. Alright. No. I wanna be like, can I help? <laughs> I kinda of wanna message our phone. Go, can we help you? Can we assist? <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> Not in a BM way, folks. Like, like if I was opponent, I and this was like no stakes, I would a hundred percent like try and help opponent. But obviously, we can't do that because we're on Magic Online. But again, the other alternative is they've they've just got like goblins. Like they've got like maybe a goblin rabble master, and it's it, they're trying to calculate even if they block whether they still die. Mm hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Again, I'm just trying to figure out all the lines. The joys of playing against Stompy decks. So. Hmm. Well. So what are we doing? Like, let's, let's, like, well, while I'm trying to figure out what they're doing, what are we doing? Next turn. So we have. Uh, so we've got Minsk and Boo. Actually, can we kill them next turn? No. Can we? Yeah, we can. Let's I see. mean, there are ways we might be able to. It depends what we think they have. Okay. Opponent's playing a spell. They're going to five. They are doing that line. Okay. I think they think... No? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> opponent! <laughs> Fellas, do you require... I am very tempted to message opponent. Do you require assistance? This is the bit, you know, like, clippy? <laughs> <laughs> I want to be clippy. I want to be like, I see you're trying to make a play. Can we assist you in some way? <laughs> okay. All right, Pona, what are you doing? Okay. They did the play that I thought they'd do. Okay. I, see, okay. I, I knew... Okay. All right. So both our creatures die. Yep. Okay. So we were... So my first... Uh, my first thing was correct. But then we get the initiative back. So we're currently putting them to one. We are putting them to one. Alright, we'll make hamster. Make hamster! Yep. Let's see what we draw. Okay, well, we hit him with a hamster. We do hit him with a hamster. And... We attack with a hamster. You want to put counters Okay, on? is there any way we die next turn? 15? How do we die from 15? Hold on, how do I die from 15? 2, 4, 6, 9. They have to play another initiative? No, because even if they play another initiative creature, we'll probably still be fine. Okay, in which case we probably just wait and play Brazen Borough. I was just thinking if we needed, like, a blocker. I'm not averse to a blocker. Just to, uh, we're putting counters on the hamster, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, four, that four. forces them to have to kill Mints can be. I'm not I'm just thinking, like, Brazen Borrower, like, because well, Brazen... it flies over, like, guarantees death. Yeah, but then it can't block. Off. That's my only thing. Is... Well, we have... Oh, wait, we can just play Childless Agent and Brazen Borrower. Oh, one, two... Oh, you so we have five, six mana. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. So let's play... Yeah. So we'll play this. Shot this agent now, and then Brazen Borough on that turn. Oh, we'll use the semi Spirit guys for this, just so we have it. Mm. Make this... I'm not casting! Do you want us to cast it? We don't cast it. Nope. No, we want it not. There. I play a 2-2, and we pass the turn. Alright, so now this we makes can... it awkward for them to kill Minskimbu as well, yeah, yeah. when Minskimbu is threatening to kill them. The prop the thing is now, like if they have fury, like that's still like okay, they win. Hamster's out of fury range as well. And we win the game. We win the game. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
We're 3-1, folks. Let's go. Folks, we are back into the final round playing this Shimei 20. Or Shimei. I don't know how it is. But... Ooh. Oh. Oh, if you were an island, I would be yeah. snap keeping this. But we can't keep this because this is a mountain. No. Uh, and we even lost a die roll. Oh, we lost a die roll? Oh, no. Oh, no, we're doomed. <laughs> we're doomed. Yeah, we can keep this. It's a bit slow, <laughs> but it has interaction. Uh, yep. What are we putting back? Maybe the mountain? We've got a lot of mana sources on our deck. We do have a lot of mana sources in our deck. And I don't really want to give up the interaction and the blind when we're not going fast. Yeah, I think you're right about the mountain. I, I'm a bit concerned that we might not hit another land drop, but we do have multiple ways yeah. of finding our a mana acceleration, so I think you're right. I think we'll put the yeah. mountain back. So we've got like 14 lands and 8 guides. Yeah, we will find it. Okay. That's pretty likely. Alright, pound it! Please show us what you're doing. Please and thank you. We do you know what we've not had today? Oh, okay. Shadow gaming. Cool, they're going to put themselves low so our one rhinos will be lethal. <laughs> our one rhino just turns sideways and is like, let's go. Okay. Well, what this, I mean, we want, I, I didn't get island, I, I didn't get uh, Tundra Ponder Gamer. We might get an island Ponder Gamer. Uh, oh, that's a lot of violent outbursts now. Okay, yeah, I think just play Scalding Town and Pass. Alright, I get it. We have enough Cascade spells. We can make a lot of rhinos. We can make time. so many rhinos. It's actually insane how many rhinos we can make. I mean, even if we get griefed, it's probably fine. Dot. Yep. What are you docking? Oh, to? Doomsday. Okay. Oh, don't, don't Doomsday. I mean, we can just force. We've got Force of Will, at least. I know least. we got Force. Alright, let's force. Okay. Force. I think it's Shardless Agent. Yeah, yeah. we have 10 million ways of making rhinos. Alright, playing against Doomsday. Oh, don't force back. Whatever you do. Just let it resolve. Okay, very nice. Okay. Alright. I was so excited to be against a Shadow Gamer, now I'm against a Doomsday Gamer. But then we have, like, a multiple ways of dealing with Doomsday as well. Like... Yeah, we're gonna need to go fast. We're gonna if have to we go can. so fast. Please, acceleration. That's not acceleration. But that is time. Yeah. Can we ice that? Can we ice that underground soon? <laughs> probably. Actually... It's probably the play, yeah. Yeah. Like, ice it on upkeep? Like, ice. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Do you want to fetch now? Yeah. Let's fetch now. Okay, we're not worried about, like, wasteland, because, well, <laughs> then we think. So, Trop and Volcanic Island, probably? Just... Yeah. Like, let's I agree. just get, like, our... I did that the wrong way around, but we did get the lands that we need. Okay. Cool. Alright. <laughs> God. Why? It is very much just, like, try and stop them resolving a doomsday no matter what. Yeah, exactly. So, tap ice. This is, like, such a 2018-19 like play. Just, like, ice your land. Draw a card. Please and thank you. Uh, what are you cycling? On Earth? Okay. 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 Vassar's Oracle has been called. Oh, Endurance. Oh, Endurance is a very good draw. Oh, that's so good. That's incredible, actually. <laughs> Endurance is an incredible draw. Oh, you wanted to play Vassar's Oracle. I'm terribly sorry. Um, okay. Are they going... I would like another land. I would like another land or another... Uh, acceleration to make our third land drop. Okay, they're going off again. Personal tutor, sure, happy be. Play oh, yeah, the tight. worst. Play one of the worst tutors printed in recent memory. No, in recent memory. Yes. In recent memory, that's it's... a Portal Three Kingdoms card. Exactly, that's what I mean. It's all, it's bad. No, it got reprinted. It got reprinted recently. Oh, okay, fair enough. But yes, okay. So they're going off on Doomsday next turn. Okay, so they. We just pass. Just pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We might need to hold up the interaction and we can make Violent Outburst on that turn if we need to. Okay. If they just Doomsday and pass, they lose, like, eight life? Correct. Well, let's, yeah, let's like, see. we're killing them. Well, if they, that have to, they have to have dot. If they, unless they, if they fetch, then they go to eight and then they're dead. If they go Dark Ritual. 
Why are you? What? Okay. What? Let that happen. Yeah. What? Why is that? I'm so confused. Why are you here? Why am I not dead if you're here? Let me go on second one, maybe. Yeah, most acts play too. Okay, my brain just. I was like, I'm not dead. Yeah, Doomsday. I've seen a lot of two Fox's articles. All right. You wanna? Should we jam? Yeah, yeah, we jam. Yeah. Uh, can I interest you in some rhinos? You can block, but uh, I would like some rhinos. Please and thank you. So their hand is Doomsday. Unknown, unknown. Could be false. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, yep. that's that's a thing that happens. Nope, we don't pay for the days. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, pass? I think we're just passing. Yeah, I think we just pass. Are we icing again? I'd probably ice on our keep, yeah. Just keep them off Doomsday for as Just, long as we yeah, can. Yeah, I mean, if you got Dark Ritual Doomsday as your other cards, I love that for you, Bestie. Okay, upkeep. Uh, Even I... some of the, like, kill you this turn lines get beaten by our endurance yeah, as well. True. Even if that's the case. Oh, that's a, oh, that's good. That's a good draw, actually. Yeah, that's great. That's a good draw. Okay. They drew Ident. Oh, That's the one they died. Oh, that's the base one. Hand. Okay, so their hand is. <laughs> this is the weirdest. Why am I seeing Fastest Oracle to attack? It's odd. <laughs> Why are you attacking? Why am I. Why are we not dead, Sarah? Why is this 1 3? Oh, I'm very confused. We're fine. I know we're, very... I know we're fine. It just freaks me out that she's attacking. I think I'm assuming it's a lady. <laughs> it's just very odd. Okay. Oh, that's, that's not bad. Okay. Right, yeah, we just pass. I mean, if this is their plan, <laughs> the 16 turn plan, or 15 turn, because we're going to be fetching, uh, I'm okay. All right, well, they they find a third underground sea. Okay, there's their dock patrol. Okay. Okay, yep. Is that them doomsday? Yeah. Okay, so piles. Oh, okay. Do you think they have a pile that... Okay, so they're going to have to beat a pile that beats Endurance? It needs to beat Endurance and Brazenborough. Yeah. That's the funny part. So what do they... What do you have? What do you play? You have, like... What do you... No, Brazen... What does Brazenborough do, though? Like... It can reduce their devotion. Yeah. Sometimes you can play lines that mean that would only be like four, like even if you got endurance, that would be enough blue devotion for you to still win. Yeah, yeah, yeah that makes that sense. That might not be possible through the Brazen Borrower as well. The other line, the other thing they could do is. There's a million things they could. Do. I know. This is why, look, folks, when we get to Doomsday, we might need to consult an expert. Uh, why are you? What? Why are you? Why is the why is the graveyard getting? Oh, it's because the graveyard's gone. Okay. They can pick a card from their graveyard as well. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, so they picked on Earth. Did we see that? We saw on Earth. Okay, so. Okay, are we just? Edge of one. Yep. Okay. This is a try and kill you this turn. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Fetch again. So your devotion is four. So then they can... Okay, so let it resolve. And then with the trigger on the stat, that's what we have. Okay. Trigger ability. Okay, so... Yeah, so... Try and do the endurance first. We want to okay. evoke endurance okay. pitching the other thing. Okay, so let's do this first. And we... Play. Target them. Hit them. How many cards are in their library right now? Four. So this will be seven. Okay, so that'll be above their devotion amount. So we actually don't have to move. We okay. can just let that happen. Yep. Yeah. Mm. That was so we could have probably cast it, but 
Well, no, because we wanted to keep Rose and Borrower yeah, in case they had like an answer to that. Okay, I don't think they can win now. Well, they have another Doomsday. They have another Doomsday. Another. I don't know how they win. They might have a way of bouncing Fassa's Oracle. Well, in their so pile? we have to be aware of that. Like, yeah, like what? they'd like... have to have put it in their pile. Okay, well let's see. Like, let's play as if they have out. Yeah, yeah. Let them attack. Currently, them. their clock is not fast enough to kill us before they deck, so we don't have to worry about applying pressure. Yeah, yeah. We're just we just need to worry about not dying. Yeah, yeah. We're not. We're not. We're not flashing to sin, are we? No, because okay. we want to keep that so we don't die. Yeah. Okay. We can... um, I think we can just play that. Just just put pressure on? Uh, Problem is then we're just... It's annoying. Yeah, because I want to keep Rise and Borrower up. Mm. Um, can we wait a turn? Da -da -da. So they got seven cards. One is an Unearth. One was a Doomsday. One was a... A cycle, uh, Edge of Autumn. Those are the only cards I can remember. Yeah, Cycle, Edge of Autumn. Um, Doomsday. I Dark think Witch. if we're going to jam a thing, it's now. But yeah. I feel really bad about it. I don't know how they... Like, they have to... The problem is, if we bounce fast as Oracle, they just win. That's the thing. Yeah, like, we have to... It, we're keeping it to reduce their devotion on the key moment. Yeah. The question is whether they could go for it next turn. I don't think they can. Not with the way we've randomised their pile to the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Right, so I think we just jam Shardless Agent. Yeah, I think so. Too. And then we can hold up Brazen Borrower for the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah. Like, and nothing have... else matters. Uh... Do we the ma the mana doesn't matter, so I'm just gonna get trot probably. Yeah, that's fine. And then we just jam ten power. Uh, green, blue. Uh, yield to this. Uh, cast our foot falls. Oh, hold on. They have on earth. We have to let this through. My issue now is that we're now at a stalemate. If they go through, then we hit them and they die. That's true. That is a fair point. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we just don't block. Yeah, yeah. Just go, sure! Well, come in! Come in! The weather's warm! Yep. Yeah. That's why they had on Earth. So if we did, if they did play them... Okay. You drew your one card. Like, we're fine with the stalemate because yeah, yeah. they just lose in six turns. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> or faster if we get more damage. Yeah, exactly. One, two. I think if they fetch. No, because they eat three. Hold on, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out the. If they had no interaction, we would have lethal next turn. But that has to assume no interaction. Oh, the drawing. Yeah. Hmm. How are they dead next to Hold on. One, hold on. Four. So if they had an empty hand, yeah, yeah. we swing with everything and That's... we bounce whatever blocks a rhino. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then they just attack here. Yeah, because they yeah, they're trample creatures. What if but they that's double assuming block? no interaction. Yeah, yeah. If they double block something, then it's... A bit more. Uh, if they double block one of the rhinos... Oh, they would go to one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. That's you're right. And then we've given them an out to... Yeah. But I think we just have to let these... Like, Violent Outburst actually probably wins us the game. Yes. Like, we kind of... We've drawn one. Um, I think if they, I think opponents wondering if they can. Okay, they're going to seven. Okay. Did you draw? I'm still trying to figure out. Like, I'm looking at the like, folks. This is their deck that they exiled. All right, to fairy. Oh, to fairy. Okay. To fairy. That's fine. Okay. 
What are you going to do? Bounce a rhino? This stops Cascade, correct? Yes, because it's... Uh, we can't yeah, move. yeah, it does. So you had to fear... Oh, they're playing Esper. Okay. I don't think Teferi was in their pile. I wonder if they had it in their hand when they went to Doomsday. It wasn't in their pile no. when we shuffled. I mean, it was in their pile, but it wasn't in what we shuffled back in. Yeah, yeah. But I think they must have had it in hand when they went off. Yeah. Come in, the weather's warm. Are we just going to stare at each other? I love staring at yeah. each other. Yeah. All right. Well, that turned off the... Okay, well, now we can't do anything on their turn anyway. No. Um. We just bounce to fairy. That doesn't do anything. I wonder if they want to like instant speed dooms, like instant speed something. Like, how can they? How can they put a Fassa's Oracle back in their hand? Is there like any... Unearth, unearth. They, they, they... Well, yeah, but they would have to kill her. They can't a, just they're, unearth. They, they want, I think they, 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 they... I'm hoping they... They probably think that we are going to attack, they block, then they up, then they untap, and then instant speed unearth. Because they've upticked. okay, but then as long as we don't attack, we don't lose to that. Yes, but eventually right? we do have to do like. Are we just are we just saying go? I think we have to say go. Like, well, we just... I'm thinking we could play Shard the Sage and, and then just not cast right? rhinos and just cast as a two two. Yeah, that's not the worst. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Because just... if we assume they don't have any way of putting these Fassas oracles back in, they can back in the oh, hold on. They can return. Oh, they can return it with to Yeah, yeah. Let's go back. Right. That's that's how that works. Okay. Um Then how do you want to do this? With that factored in then. Do uh, we want to bounce this? That doesn't answer it permanently no, no, though. It doesn't. We have to attack. That that's the thing. It's either we attack or Okay, if we swing everything at Teferi. Yes. And let it die. Does it does it kill the Teferi? That's the question. Oh, okay. Yes. Because they No, can... it goes to one. No, because we attack for ten. They block six power. I mean six toughness. Yeah. And then it dies. It has five counters oh, on it. Oh, it has five times. Uh, it goes to one. Uh um. Okay, Teferi is how they're putting it back in their hand. Yes. There we go, we figured it out. Uh... Oh, this is really hard. Yeah, I don't know hard. how to beat that. Um... Because then they bounce it back, cast yeah, it. Yeah, they're... and they would win. Yeah. yeah, That's why I'm suggesting bouncing this. Because then that's then they have to yeah. Then but then how do we deal with it after that? Because it's still the problem, right? We, they just well, play we it can, again. Well, I mean, we have we still have draw steps. <laughs> True. Also, if we bounce it, like ugh, it's annoying we don't have another mana. This is the thing we've ever just done that, but like I think we have to bounce it and like like we we have we're basically delaying this. This is the thing. Oh, this is very tough. Yeah, I think... Wait, 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 wait. I'm waiting. Can we bounce a Fassa's Oracle and just swing at them? Yes. What does, how and does that, that change? that kills them. Yes, does it? One, two... Because then they take four, six, seven... Yes, they do take it. Yes, that's the way we do it. Okay, so... Oh, then... we're, we're so... <laughs> we're so... We're, we're working too hard. All right, bounce this Fassa's Oracle... They've got no yeah, cards. They're gonna hand. think we were slow rolling. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I think we've I think we we had to work through all the lines and then we now attack. Attack you. 
because you're on seven. Oh, Doomsday turns me into a bad magic play. I know, we all, we all, we all, we all feel it. Okay, yeah, four, six, seven. Huzzah! We, we found the out. Ooh, we found okay. the out, we found the out, everybody, everyone's fine. Okay, we found our outs. Okay. Right, Blood Moons are good. Get this endurance uh, in endurances here. Endurances are good. Whole Breacher does nothing. Ah, uh, no. Uh, this does. Oh, can we steal their fastest oracle? I don't think that's how we no, win. Right. I was very excited. I, I'm not being able to play these cards yet. I'm, I'm not steal a, I want to steal a fatty. We're not going to be able to do that today. Okay. Um, what are we right. taking? What are, what are our trims? Is it Winston Boo? Yeah, probably. Winston Boo, the Smember. Mm hmm. We need two more cards. Is it fire ice? Maybe, yeah. As much as it like the tempo play is good, I think endurance is just better. Yeah. I'm yeah. kind of hoping we just turn one blood moon them yeah. after they don't doomsday and then we just smile. And we just go hello. We've come to game. I mean we've got seven counter spells, like we we really can fight through this. Alright. Why are we getting Doomsday as our last match? <laughs> because... We're gamers. Because we want to be stressed out. We want but... to be stressed out for our last match, yes. I bloody love being stressed out for our last match. Oh, I hope our parents don't think we were slow wrong. We didn't really did have to think. We did have to spend, like, two minutes figuring that line out. That's the funny thing. Realising we could just attack Yeah, them. have we considered just attacking? <laughs> it's the fact that we mentioned it as a possibility like, the turn attacked. before we can't as well. This hand is, we, this hand is bad. Uh, this hand's still bad. Yeah, we can't keep that. I don't think we keep that. I don't think we can keep that either. Five! No. Like, yeah, yeah sure. sure. Put back a shardless and a violent. Yeah. All right, we have our game plan. All right, yeah. opponent. Please show us what you're Problem doing. Problem is, I don't really think we have an answer to our opponent's game plan. <laughs> it's a, sometimes shoving is the way forward. Okay, please. No, no, no. Don't do no. Fort sees. That's actually not. Okay, I'm fine with that one. That's fine. Would you like to see two cascade spells? Right, Fort sees is fine. That means they're not killing us. <laughs> this turn. This turn. <laughs> exactly. Okay. We have three lads and a violet outburst. This is like modern. It's just like, okay, I know what I'm doing in three turns time. Uh, two turns time. Okay. Two um, turns time. So scolding turn. Yeah, yeah. And then we pass. All right, opponent. I'm ready. It's going to come a turn faster than you're expecting. <laughs> exactly. Don't fault cease us again, bro. My friend, with peace and love, do not fall us again. Now that you've said that, they're going to doomsday. Oh, now they're going to doomsday us. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Here yeah. it comes. Here it comes. Okay. Oh, they've pivoted. Okay, that makes Shelly? a lot of sense. Oh, Shelly's Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Shelly's All a right. good draw. I mean, we're still going to do the thing, but... Um, yeah. Shelly? Oh, Shelly, very good. Uh, I mean, if they swing with her, she dies. Yeah, yeah, which 100%. is funny. Uh, we don't just fetch right now. So, no. Nope. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. That's yep. actually fine. Okay. Yep. Alright, let's play a volcanic island. We're getting our lucky draws out of the way. We are getting Yeah, just our... pass. Shelly. If they swing with her, I'm going to be so happy. Shelly, Shelly, Shelly. She has to draw the apocalypse. Oh, oh my god, please. All right, fetch. <laughs> fetch in response. I get trop. Blue moon. I saw you standing alone. Don't know I'm singing now. I'm just <laughs> now, now we're going to be putting some rhinos yeah, in. Yeah, this is not Blue Moon. No, this is not Blue Moon. <laughs> okay. Uh, I would like to trade with your shield with the apocalypse. Thank you. 
Uh, opponent, you shouldn't have back. All right, this <laughs> please don't do this. Please, please. Oh no, no, not to fairy, not to fairy, not to fairy. No, no. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay. That's annoying, but fine. Okay. Um, do we just want to play? I think you just play a spirit guide. Yeah, play it up. I'm actually kind of glad that the doomsday pilots are like pivoting to like actual creatures post board. Like not in not fast like right now, but I'm just thinking it's a nice play. Also, Esper Doomsday is, um, I feel like Esper Doomsday is one of those decks where you're just like, I know why people do it, because they want more interaction, but I think if you want to go faster, blue black is just better. Why? Is... Well, that's the thing, isn't it? it why like, it is isn't this, what, why speed. is it with this main phase fast as, I'm very conf... Opponents giving me, like, the heebie-jeebies of playing fast as Oracle just without winning the game, it's, like, really, like... Like, you <clears throat> just, it freaks me out. I'm very confused. It's because you're used to just being dead. The exactly! That goes on the I'm so used to just being dead and then going, oh, there's just a 1 3. It blocks my 2 2 incredibly well. Alright. I think we just bounce it. Yeah, I also think we bounce it. Kill the Teferi. Yeah. If it's the Asper builds I've seen, I wonder if they brought in Terminus. I mean, maybe, but... I mean... Okay, I was a bit worried about Source of Plowshares for a minute, but that didn't happen, that was good. Oh, I just kind of want to draw, like, Blood Moon... Alright, it's just, um... Four mana. Are we going off? Two... Okay, so the plane dude's there. Okay, so yeah. They have Master's might... Oracle in hand. We might be dead. We might be dead. Um How can they how can they go for it now? LED? No, LED doesn't do anything. Tell me how you do it. They hit have it they play the land drop, yes? It's to, or have they not played the land drop? Yeah. Um... Mm. Well, let me check. Yes, they played... They played a land drop. Yes. I mean, they probably have Lotus Petals in their hand, right? Yeah. In their deck. So they go... What? So it could be, like, some sort of Brainstorm double Lotus Petal pile that does yeah. it. True. Let's see what they've exiled. Or even, like, an LED on Earth. Yeah. Three Shield pile. Three Shield Rupokers. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of shit, the Shield Rupes. Alright, brainstorm. Okay, I think you were right about the brainstorm line. It's got a prismatic ending, that's good to know. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you were correct about the LED line. LED on Earth? Street Wraith? Yep, that's fine. Yeah, now LED in response. Okay, yep. Oh, they've they're they're... just put it on top of their deck yeah, yeah. rather than leaning to an Earth. And then they play fast as well. Okay. okay. Alright, Pilot, you got us. We um, mulled to five. We did That's multiply. fine. That's fine. Okay. Any changes on the play? No. Maybe bringing back in the fire ices. Um just to tap now. Okay, we know that we know they're shellying us now. Yes. You want you wanna now now is it time? Or now do we get to do this? Ooh. I don't think that's what we're doing. And I got very um, da, 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 da. Do we want to cut anything? I'm kind of considering like shaving like an elvish spirit guide. For what? Um, like this member? And maybe a force of negation? Like just... Force of negation is already in our deck. We really have our three force of negation. I said trimming. Oh, trimming a force of negation. Yeah. The... I don't know. This is so hard. For what? A... Well, we're on 62 right now. Yeah, we're on 62. Alright. 
I'm happy. Sh I'm I'm happy. I'm happy shaving a spirit guide. Okay. Because I think we still need to have an answer for Doomsday. Sure. So I think we do it like this. And we can still play the tempo game of like doing stuff. I mean. That's a turn one Rhino. I'm jamming it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's what we came to do. With days backup as well. Yeah, so I think we just go fetch that and pass. Yep. If they turn one doomsday, we put them to two? Yeah. And then we still have fire ice on our deck. Yep. Alright, let's see what they do. Sure, happy be. Pylon on the yeah. pylon, pylon, island ponder gaming. Pylon, pylon, <laughs> pylon. Okay, opponent has uh, chose not to shuffle, so they like their cards. Okay, let's go fetch tr uh, tropical island, probably. Yes, yeah, yeah, let's get trop and. And then we just use Elvish and Sarian. Yep. Guide, and then we can pay for days. Oh, they're letting us do it. Okay, there's eight power. Oh, I was ready for them to daze. But the last, poor Yorick, not today. Okay. All right, okay. attack for eight. I interest you in eight. So this is two and a bit turns. Mm -hmm. We just need to hold. Hold. It might be icing them here. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, Volk. Yeah, Volk. Yeah, got Volk. Okay. Uh, ice. Ice. The underground sea. You can brainstorm in response, I believe, but. Oh. Do you know something? When I first started playing Legacy, um, Fire Ice was in my Rug Delver deck. And <laughs> I, I felt things. Sarah, it was so beautiful. Okay. It's down to 10. Prismatic ending? Please don't push that. Yeah. That's what I, I think it is. Yeah. That's fair. Okay. Uh, Lotus Petal? Okay. Okay. Well, we still have one Rhino, so that's still good. Probably a Rhino and an Ape, I suspect. Okay. Okay, we probably want to keep that up. Yeah, yeah, so... Uh, so just play the Wooded Foothills and yeah. Swing, I think. I mean, there... We can have Surprise Lethal. Yeah. As well, if they do nothing. True. Also, like, this Doomsday is getting worse and worse. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, they would need to kill on the same turn as the Doomsday now. Exactly. Like we're putting them under a lot of pressure. Brainstorm? Sure. There's another fetch. I mean, you have to kill us like now, opponent, if you're going to do it. So they go to. F if they're going to Doomsday, they have to kill us this turn. I'm trying to figure out if they can do that. Fast as Oracle, sure. Okay. Yeah, we let that happen. Yeah, that happens. That resolves. Again, I'm so, I am so mind blown that people are just using this as an impulse. Is it just an impulse? It is an impulse. Or oh, actually sleight of mm -hmm. hand. Are we bouncing this fast as Oracle? I don't think so. I mean, yeah. Annoyingly. How much is it? 
They like have to block with it though. Or do you want to just cast? Else they literally cannot doomsday. So. Do we just flash in a free one then? That would also put them to one. Yes. But I, okay. I... Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's do that. We're just. It's like man efficiency, if nothing else. Um, yeah. Uh, what do you want to get? You want to get trot? Probably doesn't actually matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, and then we'll get double blue. Play brazen borrower. Oh, you think about forcing this opponent. If they force this, I'll be very surprised. They're gonna daze it. We pay. Yeah, 100% we pay. Double days? Well, double day, sure, have a <laughs> If they wanted it more than us. <laughs> Alright, so you got land and three unknowns. Double days? Brainstorm and response. Okay. I am surprised. They're really digging. Yeah, but why? They don't die. If we play it, they can't cast Doomsday anymore. Oh, because they just die? We put. We put them to one and it's rounded up. Oh! We're very clever. Yeah, but Doomsday would kill them. Yeah. They need to not let that okay. happen. Alright, well, let me just attack. Let me just... Okay, well, I think we just attack. We've got nothing else to do. Mm-hmm. Alright. Tap, play our land. They have to block. They go to yep. one. Yeah, so now they can't cast Doomsday unless they gain some life. Yeah, which Shieldred, but again, I think yep. Shieldred, they just... But if all they do is Shieldred, they die. Yeah. <laughs> what a game. Ponder. Okay, I think they're just seeing if they have a out. Like, Brazen Borrower doesn't do it. Look at us navigating this game, my darling. Brains. <laughs> this is the, the dig, dig, they're just dig, digging. Dig, they're just desperately. Yes! yes! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Ooh, hoo -hoo. What an absolute doozy. I love this deck. I'm in love. I'm absolutely in love. Um, I think I was thinking about this with the Esper Vile matchup we had. I think that's actually a hard matchup for this deck. Yeah, probably. As, I, I think because the and I thought like death and taxes. So because this is more akin to a Stompy persuasion. Um, Stompy decks. We've spoken about this previously on the channel, folks. That they are hard against taxing effects because you 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 only have so much velocity. And if your mana is being squeezed or you're you're having to like trade one for one with your creatures, you just can't really get through. Um, so I think that's it. Saying that though, so we played against um, Land, Initiative, Esper Vile, Mono, Moon Stompy, and Doomsday. Oh, not a Delver deck in sight. What a time <laughs> to be alive. Legacy is healing. Legacy is healing. It's all good. So let's let's do a deep let's do a debrief on the deck. Sarah, how do you how did you find it? How do you, what do you think about this deck now? I enjoyed that way more than I thought I would. I did too. Like I genuinely thought it would be like a fun ride, but I wouldn't get a ton out of it. Mm. But actually like I feel like there's a ton of like interesting sequencing decisions. And yeah, like I enjoyed that way more than I thought I would. Yeah, um, me too. I'm kind of sad we didn't make more hamsters. Mm. I am a big hamster fan. I'm also a big hamster fan. Um, I'm sad we didn't curse their sudden but inevitable betrayal at any we didn't point. Play against each, during... We didn't play against Reanimator or Shovendell. Like, it was not the... You know, we thought yeah. about it against Doomsday. I So for me, uh, the cards that I think impressed me the most 
Um, Lorian revealed. Lorian revealed. Those... Just making sure we hit our land drops when we hit, needed to hit them was incredible. Brazen Borrower just doing God's work against any problematic permanent. I can see why you play four. Chalice on Zero being a very hard thing to beat. Um, Fire Ice. I love Fire Ice. I'm so glad that it has a home in Legacy in this deck. Because uh, typically it used to be played in like Delver decks of uh, time gone by. And I just love the tempo play you get out of this. Of just like icing their land or icing a permanent that's problematic. But actually for me, Violent Outburst. Like I love Sharpness Agent. But Violent Outburst having to make like 8 power instant speed is actually bananas. 3 mana, 8 <laughs> power, let's go. Like... That's like I love the ten power Sardis agent as well, but just instant speed end step make it tack for eight is so good, and you're just like, how do you ever lose? Like in a in a weird way. Um, so I think yeah, I think there's I've seen a lot of lists playing with Oro and Bone Crusher Giants and like other things as well, but I I like this as a good shell. So if you are playing um. Rhinos in modern, I want to play a more stompier, faster version. Please consider playing Crashcade. Um, because I think literally the, the Simeon Spirit Guides, the Spirit Guides did a lot of work. I think I I forget having how good and bad eight spirit guides are in your deck. Uh, because when they're good, they're incredible, and when they're okay, they are a bit medium. Uh, I feel like this deck is the happiest I've been just hard casting a spirit mm, guide though. Because like the pressure the rhinos puts on. Yeah. It's actually like, yeah, just adding a 2-2 to that board actually is good. Well there were just times like, we just cast shardless agent and we were like, here's a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. Turn like sideways. the thing is because people have to trade so many resources to deal with our plan A, yeah. suddenly like just making two twos is good. Oh yeah. 100%. Like we get down to this almost like pox style <laughs> state where so, nobody's got anything. Well yeah, it was I'm a bit just hitting you. Exactly. And I got it that sort of it sort of feels that way when I think we played against um again, I think Doomsday was a little bit like that. I think the the Espavar matchup, I think had we Again, I was trying to think about this of like if there's any outs we had. I was like, honestly, they just had so much constriction. It was like you just couldn't really get under, get out from under it. Um, which I can. Understand. I think our vile opponent also played it perfectly. Yeah, like, I mean, that's their also pivot true. point of just like cashing out their hand. Yeah, and just being like, I'll stabilize here, get Yorian, and then bam, yeah. like. And that's I think how like I can see why there is three pieces of dedicated creature removal in this in this sideboard because you do need it against those kind of strategies uh, to mm -hmm. stop the kind of pivot points and things like that. Same I imagine if we played against Maverick or Death and Taps, it's the same kind of thing as well. So with that, folks, thank you so much for hanging out with us and letting us enjoy the fun that is teamer crashcade rhinos whatever you want to call them uh but we loved it um so until next time please, please keep enjoying playing legacy we are doing a lot more we're going to do a lot more a to z videos uh in, in the channel so keep an eye out for those um i think our next one is going to be control or oh, prepare to go to time um mm -hmm. on that many times but we're going to enjoy it play either way so on but until next time, like, share, subscribe, do all that fun engagement. Uh, let us know if you watch your what you know, what your favorite legacy deck is. Uh, that could be a fun little chat in the comments below. And um, it's a goodbye from me. It's a goodbye from Sarah. Bye. See you guys around. Bye.